Three boys in a bath. Three boys in a bath. Bubbles. Three boys in a bath. 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 Get up in there, I'm making a splash. Getting them bubbles, wiping them up, and swapping my ass. Frack the front, front to back, I get in my crack. I'm doing that shit, I love it so much, I'm doing it there, yeah. 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 Swashing my ass, doing my thing for my brothers and shit. Damn. Why three of y'all in there? That's my mother and shit. Yeah. She wanna save water, making us clean, and then come her daughters. Get out. I was like chilling, taking a bath, taking a bath. Damn. Three boys in a bath. Three, 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 three boys in a bath. 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 I got that water. I got that soap. Bubbles. Some in a bottle. Some come on the rope. Suds. I got my ducky. I'm feeling lucky. Quack, 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 quack. Three boys in a bath. This shit is mucky. Monkeys. We like some soup. Minestrone. <laughs> Leave me alone. We rise and roam. We also bone it. <laughs> Mama yelling. Keep the water in the tub. Yeah. We like a felon. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Three boys in a bath. 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 Yeah, we in the bath. We playing games. Jared going off, boy. He boy insane. He was like, "What happened if I pull this drain?" It's gonna suck me down, it'll go through the pipes, come out on the other side of town. That's just what we vibing, what we doing, dog. Uh, that's just how I live my life, I'm thugging, dog. Uh, catch me in that fast, that low priori suit. Splash, doing that thing every night until we poop, poop. Three, 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 three boys in a bath. 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 My sister next, she wanna hurry. Damn, I'm rolling around, I'm shooting shots like Curry. Wait. I'm trying to take my time and shit. <laughs> but my mama flipping down, she on mine and shit. Damn, my mama chill. Let me take my time. Mama, the soap getting lost, it's kind of grind. E, it got it all around. And look at me, oh, I want the shower head. Now we oh, in the bathtub, see? Oh. Uh. Three boys in a bath. Bubbles. Three boys in a bath. 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 I'm cleaning. Three boys in a bath. Slippery. Three boys in a bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three boys in a bath. Three boys in a bath. Three boys in a bath. Cleaning. Three boys in a bath. One, two, three in a bath. Three, two, one in a bath. That's math. One, two, seven in a bath. Why did my mama make all of us take a bath together? Oh, damn. Three boys in a bath. 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 Yeah. Three boys in a bath, bro. Nailed it. did it. Nailed it. Absolutely fucking crushed that. Three boys in a bath. Why did mom make us all take fucking baths together? Um, Cheap was, in Puerto Rican. Yeah, it was uh, too co- time consuming to uh, all that water to bathe three separate dudes at once. Was that mom and dad's house that we lived in, or did they that or was, did they pay a landlord or something? That was the basement apartment of fifteen sixty six. Oh, was that, that was that. It certainly was. Oh, I, I thought, thought that, that was, was uh, uh, Pine Crest or whatever. Not Pine Crest. Cross, Cross, Cross Hill. Hill. No. I thought Cross Hill, we were all in that bath together. Cross Hill, the bathroom was into the left and the toilet was at the edge. That shot that we're in and that one is us in the bath and the toilet is to the right. I, 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 you know, vividly, you, well, you know better than us. Vividly, you were I older. Remember that. Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't understand. Is that like a? Is that a poor thing? Is that a Hispanic thing? <laughs> what is that I think, about? Honestly, poor thing. Is that a poor thing? It's a poor I never under, thing. Like I'm sure everybody like sh- like bathed with their younger siblings, but you yes. were like nine years older than us. Yeah, yeah. Why'd she make you get in there? To because I was the lifeguard. Yeah, I was making sure nobody. Yeah, but died. you were also yeah. you were also the the right age at the time where it was like it was it's still just okay. three boys in a bath. It was yeah. three boys in a bath. But plane. but but though it is funny because Jared's laughing in the picture or Jared's like smiling in the picture. I'm doing whatever, and then you're you're up, 
like waiting for the toy to play with next, and like your little ass D is just out. It's like, the same. Hey, it's it's the same size. <laughs> Dude, yeah, it's, it's, it has not. It's just the same size. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me <laughs> it's the same you. size. It's the same size. Uh, but I wanted to ask you though, do you remember because we were so young back then? Mm -hmm. Were we hard to get in the bath? I don't remember. I mean, boys go through their stages where they just refuse soap and water. It's just a rebellion. Yeah. Um, I don't remember. I think, I mean, honestly, looking at that picture, I don't think anybody had to have their arm twisted to get in that picture. No, we, yeah, we're, we're, happy. Happy. we're having it's, a it, fucking blast. It's good bonding time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. amongst brothers, you know, you get, you're going to, every now and then, probably, I, I would assume, based on our living and, and, and bringing like up, it was uh, it was definitely a, a hot water thing. Yeah. It had to be yeah. right. Yeah, it had to be like it had bro, to be a money saving I think it, thing. Yeah, it was, de yeah. and it was a time, and it, and it kills. Uh, I mean, and uh, you save time. Yeah, and and you because there's time, so yeah. many bodies in there, you create like a a current. Yeah. So you like bathing. It's like yeah. a washer machine. Yeah. <laughs> but I, just, if you really but think, but think I love about how dirty that water was, though. If you look at that picture, it doesn't. It, it's murky. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the younger ones are probably, we were probably more worried that you were going to shit in it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> and, and like the baby pool. Hands, yeah. Hands down. <laughs> hands down. I had the most filth on me going in there. Maybe. Yeah. Cause you were younger. You probably had like, cause like I said before, you know how little kids, they just get sticky and shit and they just yeah. have like, they just have like congealed, Layers. like fucking uh, uh, congealed, like ice, uh, fruit ice on their mouth, yeah, and, like yeah. the cherry stuff. Congealed. And I always said like little kids could probably climb walls like Spider Man. Gatorade so lip, sticky. Yeah. yeah, Gatorade lip. Yeah, yeah, it was like Gatorade lips. Yeah. I think yeah. I think now that it makes sense as as a parent and like you're trying to rush your kids to bed, you get three in there, you three birds, one bath. Yeah, right. You get them out. You save water. You save time. Um and it's and you you probably just like it's less chaos. All right, well let me ask you a question. Yeah, with your kids, mm -hmm. did you like when you were like, yo, I'm gonna take a shower, so I'm just bring this little motherfucker in there with I me. I did, yeah. You know when they were younger, when they were young, <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. I don't know shit, but uh, once once they 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 once kids start getting grabby in the shower, you're like, all right, this this is over. Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, what's that? Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like but kids, yeah. like their intention is to just grab, they don't just grab yeah, don't, things yeah. softly, they no, grab the no, fuck No, they're out pulling of that fucker up. And I remember, <laughs> I remember like, I, re I remember like, look, first of all, like, <laughs> like bathing your kids is such a, like, it's such a, it's such a sweet thing, like thing, a moment between like, you know, parent and child. Yeah, it's very and, like. And uh, before that, they're in these little like, you know, these little seats that are like reclined that you bathe them in. Everybody's got right, them, like these right. tiny little baby tubs. Inventions. But at some point it's like, I'm in there showering and I have the baby and I'm holding them like it's normal but once a kid is like out of your grip and you're closing your eyes and washing your face you don't want to they're gonna start grabbing all this shit you gotta be like all right listen this we gotta separate these these shower mm -hmm. times now mm -hmm. shit's getting out of control so like what what age like do you think like it usually is like all right i would i would say it's so weird because nowadays it's just like oh you can't do that ever um i would say i would say probably up to like a year or two old you know what I mean? And then after that, I think I think bath time for a kid is actually a pretty special time. Like, let them have their yeah, fun. Yeah, play. Let them do it on their also, own. Also, you can't, like... on the side, just making sure they don't yeah. drown or, like, crack their head open. You know what I mean? I so. mean, that's basically it. I was going to say, I was like, you can't just, like, throw a little baby in the fucking tub and be like, all right, do your thing. Oh, dude, I had you plenty ha You have to be with a baby. At, well, so you that's see why that contraption that we have the in the tub when we're in that picture. If I'm not mistaken, there's that, that ring that's in there. That's for seating a toddler... Or yeah, or a small yeah. child that can't yeah. sit up. There's in a tub. single picture oh, with yeah. me. It's like a it's like a floating device. Yeah, yeah. Or it just oh, keeps yeah, you, yeah, keeps yeah. You basically, upright. what it is is it's a ring with three legs and it's suction cups to the thing. It's yeah. basically like a high chair kind of setup, but for inside a tub. Yeah. Because plenty of times you're bathing a kid, they're all slippery, and you turn to like grab something, the kid just <laughs> fucking yeah, yeah. you're Like Jesus Christ, you're bay watching trying to get the kid out. Do you ever like? Do you guys ever think like? Do you ever try to go back to your very first memory like ever? Like, do you, do you ever just like? take the timeline down you're like what's the fucking first thing you remember as a kid oh yeah jared do you have do you have one like how far back do you think i, so I definitely do i want to say most of my most i was actually just talking about this recently, literally 48 hours ago yeah um i i would i want to say that my youngest memories as as a kid is being in the garden with grandpa um and also um being at richter park 
yeah, at the, at, at the park at PS22. Like when you were a kid, kid, When right? I was a kid, Not kid. like high school or No, no, no. I'm talking like I could remember that time at five or six years old. And then everything is kind of scattered about. Like, it's funny. And then, you know, once you start partying, you're like, I can't remember the I, last I mean, five years of my life. I can go back to so many things. Like, I go back to Danny uh, burning his finger on the lamp that my that our mom had for, like, filming or something. Like, and his fucking you know, the craziest blistered. Up. blistered. Yeah, and then, and then I did it, and then I did it again with the car cigarette lighter. Oh and, and, yeah, and did. I remember that. And you in had the, the rings. Yeah, dude, in the I McDonald's remember, drive through I remember Danny one time put his hand into a tin can. Um, I think of do you peas. Still, do you, yeah, of yeah. Peas. Look, there's a scar. There's right a there. scar right there, and his finger. You know. When, oh Jesus! You know Christ. when you, you know you That's know like crazy. Listen, looking. you know yeah. when you you know when you kind of you you basically. You you uh, like you can't open the top of it, and then you leave it to where like a slab of it is still connected. And then what you would do is after you emptied out, you push the lid back in. But if it's basically like a Chinese finger trap, yeah. if you put your finger in there, you can't pull it out. And Danny did that and cut his finger Dude, open. Yeah, cool his fucking, yeah. I I remember Kids are that. Fucking dangerous. Man. I remember that um, only because of like uh, the trauma it caused, like mom and dad. Yeah. I remember their faces. I don't yeah. remember the pain or anything, but like I do, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that because mom, like you know, mom is mom yeah. lost her fucking mind. Can you, can you do oh mom right god. now? Can you do oh, my god, oh my god! Oh my god, Danny! <laughs> <laughs> Dooney, yeah, yeah. Dooney. he's not breathing. She he's screams, not breathing. She screams so yeah. fucking loud. Yeah. Even though, even over little shit. Oh, you, oh, she doesn't have a scale. Do you so remember like a measurement? You, no, so you can't tell what's serious yeah, or no. not. Do you remember Kathy used to hold her breath? Yeah, Kathy she, was trying to like train for the Marines. I don't either yeah, that or trying to be a Navy <laughs> SEAL. Either that or she knew she knew that it was going to be like a traumatic experience for anybody. Kathy actually did it to to where she would lose consciousness. Bro. Yeah, Kathy used to hold her breath like she was like a Cuba Gooding Jr. in that fucking diving it, movie oh, with De Niro, uh, Men, Men yeah. of Honor. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> where they're like challenge. <laughs> is, is that the, are they like Ooh. challenging each other? Yeah, or yeah. You have to like open the mask. And shout yeah. out to yeah. Cuba, man. He's he's oh the, the diver or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah. Men of Honor. It was called Men of Honor. Yeah. Robert De Niro. Oh shit! Yeah. It was actually <laughs> that was how Kathy was. It, it was the first DVD that anybody had ever bought me. I think Alex Rosenstein bought me that 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 uh, DVD. Yeah, I watched that movie like fifty times. It was a very good movie. I think um, uh, Gooding might have actually won an award for that movie or was nominated. I think he won for Jerry Maguire. Yeah, yeah, where he like did he it, where he break danced. He, yeah, and like I, Robert De Niro called him like Cookie. Yeah, he called him Cookie, which I think was like a racial term for the yeah, time. Of course. Because uh, then, like, in the courtroom, he, like, can't walk. Yeah. And Robert De Niro shows up yeah, to, like, he help him walk. His leg, yeah. He, like, helps him walk. Cause, so he has to walk in this fucking super weighted suit to get clear to, like, do diving. I don't yeah. Oh. So in the courtroom, like, Robert or Robert De Niro shows up to, like, like uh, inspire him, but he's, yeah. like, still racist. But he had lost yeah, his yeah. leg. Yeah, yeah. He's like, walk to me, cook it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Come, yeah. It's like, it's like he's fucking, like, in Gran Torino, where he's, like, still a fucking. Like he's still a racist asshole, but he's like, I kind of like you though. You goddamn Asian. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like me and that John watched that good. movie. I remember me and John went to go see it, and we were like, Jesus Christ! Like yeah. this is so fucking racist. Yeah, Gran Torino was an uncomfortable watch. But the it's first but time. it's but it's. I felt like he. First off, I felt like Clint Eastwood loved it doing it. And oh sec, yeah. And second, though, it was it was like it was just so funny because the message was good. But it was still like he's so racist in that movie. But he's but it shows like he's still a good guy, I yeah. guess. But I mean, me John just left that movie like we got the message, but that shit was racist as fuck. Mad racist. So Jared, in in your <clears throat> prowess, I mean, we've all done this. But what what do you find easier to change as a baby, a boy or a girl? Um, that's a good question. I think I think I think there are more. There are more ridges and edges, you know what I mean, on a girl. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. There are more nooks and crannies. Throw up. (laughs) No, it's true though, bro. Especially when they take like a big ass diarrhea dump. You got to get every cranny. And you have to, you know, and and as a guy, especially the age that I was, I was like, I didn't really have that much experience with maintenance in that area. Yeah, it was just dick. Yeah, yeah, it was just yeah. For me, I was just like, okay, you know, on a girl, I was like, all right. But when you're changing, it's like you want to be so gentle. The thing, the thing that's dangerous about changing boys is that they'll piss right in your fucking face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, laugh. yeah, and they're and they're like, and it's coming out like. Oh, I've done that. Like, dude, it's yeah, yeah. I know you have. <laughs> is it because like a little baby? <laughs> pee? We, we, told, we told that story last time. Is it right? because like a little baby pee? Told that story plenty of times. Yeah. A little baby pee is sensitive and it just squirts. 
Yeah. Like when, when the no. air hits, when the yeah, air I hits think, it. I think what happened. Yeah, that's part of it. And, like, and uh, I've heard doctors say that because of like the cold air, like the shock, they just pee. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like yeah. warm water. But they're like, it's it was the most annoying thing to change your your kid's diaper. Yeah. Literally be like, you know, seal the deal on those little Velcro tabs. And all of a sudden they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> you just shit again. And you're just like, by the way, I love on, how we're, man. I love how we're talking about this. And Jared doesn't even have a son. But I changed us, but I changed you guys. And like, oh yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah, yeah, like yeah. babysitting yeah. and babysitting other people's kids and stuff. I, I would say cleaning a girl in a diaper change is way more intricate of a deal. Where it's like, and, and boys is more dangerous. Who was easier to babysit out of me and Danny? Who is easier to babysit out yeah. of you and Danny? Yeah. Well, you had like a wandering stage where you would yeah, just fucking dude. leave. What the hell? Why was I doing you that? You would just go AWOL. You're still and, and like that fucking, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. a fucking Puerto Rican Lord of the Rings. Dude, you would just go off. And I remember, dude, you got out of the house and fucking <laughs> in a diaper and disappeared. <laughs> and this dude, one of our neighbors was like this old like Portuguese dude or Italian dude. I don't remember exactly where he was from. Yeah. But found you wandering <laughs> like fucking yeah. half a mile away yeah. from home. And there's barefoot. A, yeah. And there's a picture. Creeping there's around a picture the of me in my undies and I'm just smiling yeah. and my shoulders look swole. Yeah. 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 And the dude comes You're back built. and he's furious. This guy's yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. What kind of people let their kids run around? And we yeah. were just like, we're, mom was so embarrassed. And I guess I'd he like. He was like, you I'd, know how, you know, you know, not how, you not know how I watch kids yeah yeah so shit like, <laughs> that. like that he was so pissed and we were all so scared because i the crazy thing was is that nobody knew you were gone yeah we didn't just, know you were gone until he brought you on back. my bare feet just an under just uh just diapers just, that's it just fucking beelining down now, uh Nepperhan avenue now i think i was i was more mischievous you were brattier yeah i was you, 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 you were yeah you were you were less um you were more rebellious yeah a little brat definitely worst. i was but, a brat for but, sure but michael was also high maintenance because everything scared michael i remember the yeah, Pee Herman doll. Me. you used yeah. to have to prep the night before you go to sleep you're like are the knives hidden is <laughs> yeah. Pee Wee herman locked up <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah you so were afraid of Pee Wee herman yeah, i was Pee-wee so herman terrified of Pee Wee herman out. because that fucking old spanish bitch that mom used to uh evelyn or whatever Whoever she made watch us, she fucking made us. She 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 made us watch fucking child's play when we were like four. Yeah, and I called mom and I was screaming. Oh, that's traumatic. And I was like, yeah, but then for some reason I wound up loving that movie though. It's weird. I came. We were watching. We were watching child's play one time. So the Yankees were in the World Series playing the Padres in the year two thousand. Yeah, and mom and dad went to Italy with grandpa, grandma and grandpa, and Jared had to come watch us. Um. In New Jersey. In Jersey. Yeah. And we had oh. we had we had Dude, a, we had a blast. I scared yeah. the shit out of you guys. So we yeah. had a we had a like a, a big skylight. skylight yeah. uh in the living room. So we're watching yeah, like window child's in the play. Ceiling. Yeah. And Jared's like, yo, I'm just like gonna go to the bathroom. And I was like, all right. So I'm like watching this, bro. And we're fucking terrified. This is when you watched like the TV was like only like 30 inches. If you, that, if that, and yeah. you watched it like you're watching horror movies, like you're in the movie. Yeah, yes. you you would yes. have to get close to the screen because yeah. you were the TV was tiny. Yeah, so we we're just doing that. It was like old Magnavox, and I remember like we're just watching it, and I'm mad scared, and I just hear like, yeah, and we're like we're like where is it? Yeah, we thought it was fuck? we thought it was the door, and then fucking I hear it, and I'm looking for it, and I hear the knocking like doom 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 doom. And I look up and it's fucking Jared up there pretending to be dead. Like yeah. you put like a dead face on. He's like, yeah, yeah. He was like, fucking like, yeah. And it's fucking, I climbed his up fucking on the hand, roof. His hands, your hands are on the glass like like Spider Man. Yeah, like, you, like were, you like, were using like all the tips dead. of your fingers to hold on to the glass. Oh my god! And it was like, wasn't it? I, I could have sworn. I'm probably being dramatic. I thought it was like lightning. There was. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it was. It was like thunder and lightning. You just saw Jared. It was like an old like Twilight episode where like that thing's on the plane. If I climb, if I just look like. If I tried to climb up on a roof today, I wouldn't be able oh, to get back down. Oh, your back would snap. Yeah, I, just, I, I would literally. How'd you even do. get up there? Like, what was. Well, like, there was. I remember there was a porch through the kitchen living room area, oh, and I yeah, hopped up was. on the porch and then hopped up on the thing and, and climbed through. I don't know where I came up with the idea. But then, and then mom caught me smoking herb at the Wawa. They came home. I was going to ask if you were smoking weed there. I was at that definitely. Time. I was going to ask that question that too. Yeah, yeah. That's the only way I could deal with Because we didn't smell it. We didn't know. No, I would. I, I would know what was. I would dip off and smoke. And at the time, I was still smoking like out of bowls because it wouldn't smell as strong. Right. But right, my, right, I would right. sneak to the Wawa on the corner and smoke cigarettes, just dressed like a little fucking hoodlum and just smoking dirt weed. Um, I think mom actually might have taken a hit of weed with me that night, and then like and it, it, it spooked her because it was like really strong. 
And I remember her being oh like pissed gosh. off. And she was like, oh my God, are you serious? Like, this is the strong. And it was probably dirt. Like, yeah, if, mom, if mom smoked the herb that, that we smoke now, yeah. forget it. She would lose her mind. Yeah. Let me ask, <laughs> all right. So l- let me ask you a question about, about weed, right? Yeah. Would you take, in its heyday, an eighth of sour diesel Ooh. over what you smoke now? That's a good you question. remember when sour diesel yeah, was sour like sour diesel? Wait, what do you mean? Like an drove. eighth over weed over like a an ounce? Eighth, an eighth of what they make now. Well, my smoke tolerance today is 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 way lower than it's ever been. Right. Also, All right. the weed that we were smoking back then, it just wasn't very strong. Yeah. Seeds. Once once diesel and dro and haze started getting sold, oh, yeah. we were getting a whole other level of high, but the bags were super tiny. Yeah, they were small. To, uh, dude, when I first started smoking bud, you could spend 10 bucks and you would get like three L's out Who of it. Who were you getting weed from back then at that age? When I first started chiefing? Yeah. Dude, I was selling weed. Yeah, but who'd you get it from? You still got You didn't like oh, I was, did you I was, it? I was, getting, it from, I was getting it from the these Arab dudes on the other side of town, on the south side of the Yonkers. Oh, so you went to guys you didn't even know like that? No, no. When I was, if I was, if I was probably getting high off of that, but most of the time it was most of my older friends had it. Right. And then I would just smoke with them. I didn't start buying weed. Until until literally until I started selling it, you know what I mean, and and yeah. I was only selling, I was only buying it to sell it, and that was short lived because I was just like scared to death. Dad found dime bags, empty dime bags. Oh, we in were like so my bad jacket, with it. I got like caught a Columbia too. jacket. Yeah, and I was literally asleep and woke up to dad just fucking strangling me. He was so furious. Yeah, and I he was, but there was no weed in there. It was just a bunch of empty dime bags because yeah. we yeah, were probably going to bed. Yeah. Mom, oh, fucking, he knew what time it was. Mom came in my. I'll never, I mean, I think we said it on the podcast again, but like I got to say it again. Mom came in the room late night, and I was, and I just fucking had a do rag on, and I was playing many men yeah. and fucking fifty, <laughs> and I was breaking my weed up on a fifty on a cover of Fifty Cent magazine, yeah. <laughs> like just the most like wanting to be fucking yeah. rap like, hip hop culture and, hood thing. Malibu, yeah, and mom, Malibu, uh, mom just comes in like oh, and then leaves and comes back with a chair and puts it down in my room and shuts the door and goes get rid of that shit right now or yeah. i'm gonna tell your dad and i was like yo i spent 200 dollars on this shit yeah, yeah <laughs> i was I'm like rid of it. i was like i'm not getting it. i was like i'm gonna make my money back she goes get rid of it all by like next week yeah <laughs> <laughs> or i'm gonna fuck it down and the me, and mom, mom, was, mom was really cool with like bad like bad stuff yeah like she wouldn't go crazy like uh, yo i had some friends parents growing up that were like od crazy yeah. about shit Oh yeah, like really, really bad. Like would like send them to like Utah and shit. Yeah, in you know, their business, worried that everything was like demonic, maybe kind of shit. Yeah, and then like all these kids like went uh, are doing just fine now. You know, but like they, I remember it used to be like my. I, I remember I used to do fucking key bumps in the living room. No like sh- while mom, while mom and dad were in the other room in Fifty Eight Main Street, Fifty Eight Main Street, so the skis. You just go, and they yeah. would just come in. And, just be like, and and this was some reason. Like dad, dad would used to love to do this thing where he would come in and just be like Channel Four. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like our parents would come in and just be like Channel Four. Oh, mom Sade's did it. On. Yeah. Mom yeah. did it all. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get fucking schneefed yeah. in here, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. And What's going just, on? Yeah. They'd be like, yo, Look. Danny, Danny, Channel Four, Jimmy yeah. Fallon. Yeah. Mom yeah. used to do it all the time. She would yell. She'd be like, Danny. 27 it's shania twain concert and my dad would be like all right dude and like now i gotta fucking you, watch you guys this. ever like change it to put it on just to appease her you know yeah, what i mean yeah yeah and then it was like he's like i'm watching the yankees yeah but yeah. Our, <laughs> our so annoyed our parents for a long period of time didn't watch tv together but they would watch the same channel in separate rooms yeah and mama go <laughs> Dude, did you ever get <laughs> mom would you ever get high and come home and, and you could tell dad was like like he would talk to you still but he was like scanning you though because he would yeah. stare at you longer I don't than know. usual I, yeah no, he used to do it so- all the time he used to go right and then look at me <laughs> mad weird and he's like he, he's I, like, I, you could tell he was high shit. yeah he was definitely like this fucking kid zooted dad it was the king of always knowing that i was hungry when i came home oh I was yeah high. and he'd be like he'd be like oh what are you what are you up to i was like oh, i was hanging out you know so and he's doing over. He's like, you hungry? And I'm like, yep. Yeah. And he would cook <laughs> the most amazing, like, 1 a.m. Schmo. Oh, did they stop caring? Like, not caring, but did they get a little bit cooler no, with you? I or think, something? yes. Once I had Elizabeth, once Elizabeth was born, my dad was like, I don't know what else to do with you. You know what I mean? Like, I, right. you're already living this adult right. lifestyle. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Dad hated me being drunk. He couldn't stand it. He hated the cigarettes. He hated right. all of us being right. drunk. But, but right. he didn't, he didn't really stress me about Bud. There was something I remember he said to me once, he's like, ah, oh, he's like, He's like, getting drunk is worse. He's like, I never have to break up a fight between my two high friends. 
He's like, yeah. he's like, hey, it's don't like mind, my, shit, don't mind my friend. He just smoked a joint before he came in here. He's normally not, not like this. Yeah. But if you were drunk, he was like, I would watch people's whole character change after one or two yeah. drinks. And he scans you. Yeah. He doesn't he, know. He doesn't know he's like doing it. But like, I see it in his fucking eyes. Like he used to. Like I could tell he knew when I was because yeah. I'm being more friendly. Yeah. But yeah. he would. But then there were times he probably didn't know. Right. But like he was good about not also getting in your face about it. And sometimes not, too. Yeah. And yeah, not that really dad. Good. And not that dad was is is dumb or anything. But I don't think he he didn't really have like the education that mom did because mom partied a little bit. You didn't yeah. know. Yeah. She yeah. was like out street around e street education. Yeah. Like the street, just that street knowledge of just being like being able to see it and call it. You know what I mean? Mom was always better at that. She's like, you're high. Look at your eyes. To this yeah, day, yeah. No, mom's I'm 42 good. Mom's years old. She's like, oh, man, you look how high you are. I'm yeah, like, like, mom, smoke? I'm 42 years old. I could be a grandfather any day. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully Elizabeth would never do that to me, but it could happen. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, I think I think dad was my age when he became a grandfather, when Elizabeth was born. Yeah, he might have been. Isn't that yeah. fucking weird? Yeah, yeah. in 1997, now? dad was what are you, 40, 41? Dad was 44. Bro, that's weird. What are you, 42? I'm 42. I'll be 43 in April. They were like, they were dealing with 42. Born. They were dealing with like us and moving different houses oh, and shit. I ruined yeah. those. And we're you almost was, there. And we're fucking still losers. You want to know what's crazy is like once I went to therapy, I, I kind of realized like how much like that bouncing around like pissed me off. Yeah. Bouncing yeah. around, meaning what? Going like, to like, different schools moving? and different uh, houses and shit. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of weird. Because we had through, awesome houses. Yeah. No, the houses were great, but it would just be weird like. Like we had a dad, but like we didn't. Yeah, you know, he was like very, he was so well, he busy. To, he was still commuting. He was like still crazy commuting because grandma got sick, yeah. so he had to be there. Yeah. Jared just was a kid that had a kid. You know yeah. what I mean? It yeah. had to become a grown they up. They gave me the option, and then he got an apartment, and he was like, "I'm not fucking going to live up there." Yeah, I was he so was like, jealous. Right I was so jealous of your life because you were younger oh, yeah. and so like fucking and, cool. But we, so but hard. I never realized you were seven years ahead of me. But I was like, I was like, bro, he just gets to him and Keanu just get to like stay there and do whatever because how yeah. old were you when they were like all right we'll just trust them with the place with the, with the kids well no, with the got, apart with the apartment yeah you guys, the, you guys had your own apartment we did that's we did. fucking fire yeah, yeah but we had old, the apartment because we were living downstairs from grandma and grandpa at the time on neprahan and they were like uh grandma was keeping an eye on us uncle lewis was keeping an eye on us a yeah, lot because yeah. i had my pellet gun and i was on some fucking sniper shit he came down and just took it one day he was just like enough of this fucking thing. Why did you shoot it? Did you Dude, shoot? Dude, I was busted. I was like the fucking. I was a terrorist with that fucking thing. I was. Were you guys were the, the no Hastings. The were you the Hastings snipers? Were you the Hastings sniper? I was. I was part of the Hastings sniper. Um, yeah, there was. There affiliate. was a trio. The, yeah, the, I was the an affiliate. There were different. There were different occasions where the the location was always the same. What the hell is that? The Hastings oh, you sniper didn't know about was, that? was was. No. You could tell a story. Yeah. It's your story. Yeah. So the Hastings sniper was um, was a was a, <laughs> a, an era of time where Alex, Ben, and I um just would would snipe people going going down Villard from his window oh, on Circle shit. Drive and. And a, a newspaper and like the penny saver or whatever the fuck it is that that, that the Hastings, enterprise the enterprise that little fucking that little paper that circulated around around uh, Hastings news was just like beware Hastings sniper Villard <laughs> and, and it was like and and, That's fucking sick. and and there were different occasions That's but I think the occasion I think the actual occasion that was that was documented and put into the news was I don't think I was there for that one I think that was Ben and Alex. But there were different times, and we were just we were just young dudes with pellet guns, just acting up. Yeah, and definitely a dangerous fucking game. But it was crazy. I, I yeah, the pellet gun, the, the squirrel population, the bird population in my neighborhood. Like when I had that pellet gun, it would like went it was cut in half. Dude, pellet, I was just pellet fucking, guns in the nineties. I was <laughs> pellet dude, guns I was in the nineties were Cooper. crazy. I, yeah. nobody was safe. I was yeah. shooting out people's like bugs. You know, remember the bug lamps, the like the neon. Oh yeah, yeah, bugs? yeah. I was blasting. Dude, I'll never, I'll never yeah. forget this kid Popping. Frank that we grew up with. I think you guys know who I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. We were we're, we're sitting at the nineties for pellet guns was crazy. We're sitting outside and we're just listening to like. Like being around the world, la 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 la, like the mace <laughs> fucking sample, and this kid just comes out, puts the gun up to a bird in a fucking branch that we were sitting at, and just fucking kills yeah. it right in front of us it's while we're listening it's cold to blooded. mace. It's cold blooded, dude. It was fucking. I I hated pelican. I thought they were so fucking scary when I was. Yeah. I was scared of fucking everything. Though. But Jared was a very good animal exterminator. I I remember seeing Jared one time. <laughs> We were, we were walking down. Uh, what was this, what was the street? Animal exterminator. Yeah, he would just. Sounds I don't know terrible. what it was. His accuracy was another. We were walking back from uh, Jared friend, uh, friend Wally's house. What's the name of that street? 
Oh my God! Truman. Is this the story with the bat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me oh tell you. Yeah. Oh, tell I think I was there too. Do you All right. So, that? so we we were we went Holy to this kid shit. Wally had like every video game and like sometimes yeah. he would let us yeah. come over. Truman, and play. Yeah. Truman Ave. Truman Avenue. So we're walking down Truman Avenue in Yonkers, and there was this street light, like that. Sometimes like it was a big street light. <laughs> yeah. And like bats, like they go to like sound and light or whatever. They're just kind of like. Well, the bugs know. would be around the lamp, so they would go after the bugs. Yeah. Yeah. So. We're all walking home, and Jared's like looking at it, and then like kind of talking to us, like sizing it up, like while we're still talking to him, like oh, like yeah, like Street Fighter was dope, and he's like yeah, yeah. So he, I see him like go down, and he picks up like this rock. And he's like, yo, is that a is that a bat? Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, yo, is that a bat? And he's like looking at it, and he like picks up a rock, and. I swear to God, it was from like maybe 20 yards away. <laughs> so Jared just picks up this rock and he throws it like almost like overhand, but like almost like side, like, yeah, like I a, whipped it. Yeah, you whipped it. And it was big, though. It was big. It was a big rock, yeah. but like it was like a throwable rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say it was almost like, like the size of like. A, it was smaller than like a coaster. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, smaller yeah. than a coaster. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. And then I remember just being like, oh, my God, he's going to throw this rock. All right. I'm just along for the ride. On release, I remember seeing it leave his hand. And in my mind, everything everything slowed down. Like, you know, like yeah, in a yeah, movie, yeah. you know, like in a movie when it's Flying. like the big game and like they're throwing the touchdown pass. Yeah, and like yeah. It just yeah. looks it looks good. Yeah. But you don't know how yeah. it's going to end up. Right. It's in slow motion. That whole time was in slow motion. And I remember the light <laughs> exiting the dark and entering the light. Yeah. Of right. the street light. Yeah. The rock. The rock. Yeah. Just just <laughs> traveling into the light. Yeah. And as the bat s fucking swung around, the rock oh, hit the bat shit. in the head. And killed it. And killed it. <laughs> yeah. And it just and fell, and it fell yeah. to the ground. I just remember being like, yeah. <laughs> got on the ground, I was like, Jesus! And then Jared, I think you I felt bad, right? You're like, oh fuck! I didn't know I was gonna like. Fuck well, this. I didn't think I was gonna hit it. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, Let me try to hit it. Yeah, Bro, when honest? I when I tell you a this flying was, bat with a rock from twenty fucking yards away in the no dark, way. it in was dark. Un, it was one of the most unbelievable feats of athleticism I've ever seen. Bro, because the, it went right to the ground. One yeah. rock. One rock. One throw. Yeah. One shot. One, one less, man. One, one less man. One, one man. And, and one opportunity to yeah. hit this fucking bat. One and he man. hit it square in the fucking head. <laughs> and it, it fell to the ground like somebody shot it out of the sky. Yeah. Like yeah. a skeet shooter. Yeah. Dude, what about that time I threw that paper, that piece of paper into the Corona bottle when we were shooting? Darts oh, yeah. We were, we were, we were oh. fucking, we were at the bar one night right. and we were all fucking hammered. And, and everyone's like just loose and happy and we were playing fucking darts. <laughs> and then and then I don't know what we I think no we were, they, they set up a table for you to play uh beer pong because that dude oh, yeah, Kyle yeah, yeah, made yeah, that yeah. table for yeah, us to play. Yeah, yeah. And we were playing on the pool table and we were all fucking hammered and it's like towards the end of the night and Jared and Jared just fucking takes like a little fucking piece of rolled up paper and he's just looking at the one corona and I'm like and I just remember looking at him and go and I just go no shot. <laughs> and, Jared, and Jared just goes and Jared just got that gr that Jared grin and he just goes Eh. And fucking throws it, and it and this little piece of fucking paper roll goes right in a Corona, Nothing that long that. neck of a Corona bottle. Yeah. Dude, didn't even hit the rim; it just went fat, like right inside. <laughs> did, right everybody, inside. did everybody see it? Yeah, me, no, well, Jared, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I think, yeah, and I think there, there was like there, there were a couple people there, and like, uh, yeah, and, like, and I lost it. Yeah, I was, it was, it was, <gasps> yeah there's we, nothing more. And, and Joel was there. Joel was yeah, there. Joel, he was yeah. like, and he just like went side. He's like, no fucking way. Yeah, we, everyone was like, no, dude. It went. It gracefully. It was like it was like it was like magnetized. It was like no, uh, I, I, even, right I, have a, I have an even better Jared shot story. So, <laughs> oh, I know this one with your fingers. No, 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 that's another one too. I'll tell that one too. So we're we're I was a marksman. So we're in the it, we had a, an apartment where there was a kitchen here, and then you had to make a step, and then you go up into like this living room. So I was laying on the couch. Uh, just chilling. I was like, uh, just hanging out, you know, just like getting ready for the day. I'm still in like my underwear and shit. And Jared's in the kitchen, and Jared flicks a Snapple cap, a Snapple cap that's way bigger than this. A Snapple cap is huge. It bends around the corner. It comes around the corner, 
and hits me right in the tip of my penis. <laughs> and the thing is, he can't even see me. I can't even see. He can't even see me. He flicked it and, and, and it spun around the corner and hit me in the tip of my uh, penis. Why that, think, that was one of the most amazing yeah. shots. Hold up, I have another one. Oh, okay, I have yeah. another one. So Jared comes home one night. He's probably fucking high or whatever. Yeah, he's like out all night, like probably doing like weird or whatever. Shit. No, he's just like when Jared would come home at eleven thirty, he's usually blazed or yeah. like whatever. Right, so that's just what it was. Yeah. And he has a quarter in his hand, and he's like playing with it. And I was like, "What the fuck is he doing?" He goes, "Yo, do me a favor." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> he's got like real David Blaney on me. I was like, "Put your fingers together." <laughs> And I was like, which one? I was like doing this. He was like, no, put your index finger and your thumb together like this. I was like, all right. He goes, I'm going to throw this penny in between your fingers. I said, there's no fuck. You know, I'm going to throw this quarter in between yeah, your fingers. Yeah, it was a quarter. I said, there's quarter. no fucking way. So he's across, He's literally across the room with a quarter in his hand. And he, and look, if you see the fucking... Like look at look at yeah. the the landscape there. It's very yeah, it's hard. Like no, yeah. He goes, I'm gonna throw this into your fingers, but don't catch it. Right. Just leave it. <laughs> yeah. Just like stay like that. So I'm like, all right. So I'm looking. I'm not even looking at him throw. I'm looking at my fingers. <laughs> so I'm looking at my fingers, and he throws, and, was, and the <laughs> and the quarter lands there, stiff. Right in between, perfect lands right in, and I'm looking at it. And two seconds before, it was almost like with the bat, with the bat. I'm looking at my finger. There's no quarter in it. I swear to God, I blinked. There was a quarter in it. How did you? Where was the most amazing thing? I was standing. No, yeah, it was a 58. He was sitting by the window in the living room, and I was at the door. And I was just like, I'm I'm gonna throw this quarter into your fingers. And he was like, No fucking way. And I I just flicked it. It literally landed right in between. Oh his my god! It was the craziest was thing I've like, ever seen. I said, "Holy so shit!" Oh man! No, nah, no, yo, the, one of the funniest oh. best moments at Fifty Eight was when we were all living Dude. there, and so and sad. we were doing the, and the choking game came back with like oh, full force. Oh my god! And fucking uh, I was Jar- just telling story Jared was like, day. Jared was like, "Yo, do girl, me." Man. This is when Jared had his like curly hair long and everything. God. And Jared's like in his lifeguard shorts and we go up and Danny was there. I'm there. And he's like, you guys got to catch me because we were, we were small. He's like, you got to catch me. Yeah, it was the one that put him out. So we put it, we put there, we're holding Jared. No, he made both of us do it because we were, because we were like smaller. So he made both of us put him in there and do it. And I'll just, it was the funniest shit ever. I was like, you feeling it? You feeling it? And Jared just goes, oh, house. <laughs> he just goes, he just goes, House yep. and it smacks his fucking head <laughs> in the night in the in the like uh the, the fucking night, the night table <laughs> and just went and, yeah. but after he just went house are like, you <laughs> it's so funny are you are you, are you are you going to 58 Main Street tonight is that where you're sleeping um or are you sleeping here no I I don't know I, I'm up in the air Why, all right so no no so if you go to 58 Main Street we did it to Michael one time yeah, too he fell and put a hole he, in the wall he slid and he started down seizing and yeah. smashed yeah, his seized. head up against the wall yeah. and started seizing dude yeah. I remember I flipped out and I ran up to him and grabbed him. I was like yeah. Michael yeah. Michael yeah. and I grabbed yeah. him and I slapped the shit out of him yeah. and he just yeah. like came I out remember of it. it I was like yo we're not playing this in the living room right anymore. yeah dude oh he, my yeah, god yeah because you slid down the wall you slid down the wall and smashed your head there's still a dent there like if you go there yeah it has to be. They never fixed that, probably. No, I uh, think they did because they renovated the whole thing after the fire. Yeah, maybe. that's right. Yeah, so th- that was a dead. But I remember really looking scary. up at Jared like this. I remember going and <laughs> reaching yeah. for him, like reaching for your And I just I know where I was. his arm and slapped the fucking <laughs> Holy <laughs> Spirit out of him. I was bro. like, yeah, no, you were fucking. <laughs> I was so scared. Like, was that was that was uh, that a seizure or was that it like was, a yeah. seizure? It was probably like it my brain no- was probably fighting like in and out now. <laughs> Like it was probably just like my brain was idea. probably trying to grab what, oh what which one it was. God. Yeah, thank God for smartphones because kids we used to do the oh, dumbest shit. Trouble, yeah. yeah, you get into digital trouble. But now. that game yeah, became global trouble. somehow. <laughs> like, listen, I I didn't know. If we Isn't were that weird t- how that happens? Yeah, I didn't know if we we're gonna do the podcast, and I don't want to get off course at all. But I I was watching. I was just found out today, and I'm behind, obviously, delayed. That we ended up trading a Russian like assassin. For this Britney, yeah, our gun, guns dealer trade, right? Deal. Yeah, guns. Yeah, we, yeah, we got fleeced. Guns dealer, dude. Yeah. Let me tell you something, and I hate best and, trade and, of her listen, NBA career. This, though. this, yeah. this, this is what WNBA I was gonna say. Career. This just goes to show you how little they care about the WNBA. They were like, "This is the worst trade yeah, yeah, <laughs> in ever, fucking ever, sports ever, history." Ever, ever. Listen, I've been mad at the Knicks for years. They'd be like, "Oh my god, we signed this fucking guy. He's like forty eight years old." They literally traded. One of the all stars of the WNBA for a 
fucking Russian. Yeah, it, it, seems, like a, it seems like a joke, kind of. It doesn't even seem like it's real. I I was watching it. I was watching it, and I was like, oh, it's good. She's coming home. And then I started to get details on this fucking guy that we traded, and I was just like. Dude, we didn't get any first round draft picks for it. We yeah, didn't we didn't get, get like our future any, Russian yeah, to be named get, later. Yeah, like we didn't get shit. Yeah. And I'm like, what a shitty fucking deal. Like, yeah. This is what we got back That's and we so, had to give social up. Social media did that though. Social media, yeah, we social media pushed, pushed it hard. We pushed to get it hard. Biden to Biden to do it. Yeah. And like all I could think about when they were trading at the airport is she could beat the shit out of all these guys. She oh was, my God. Dude, she, how tall is she? She's a big girl. She's a big she's a big girl. But it's so disturbing that that's what we were willing to give up. Um, or give back to Russia. Yeah, it, but you I know feel what so bad for her, bro. She it, was there for a vape pen. I know. Yeah, you know what no, I'm that's like, fucked up. It's fucked up. But it reminds me of the scene in Saving Private Ryan where he lets the dude go down the stairs, down the stairs, and later on finds that dude stabbing his friend, stabbing right? his friend, or something like that. It's just like, bro, we let that dude go. You know what he's doing right now? He's just plotting to do some other foul shit to Americans. Yeah, dude. Because I'm telling you this. We could have it's fucking crazy. My thing is the other thing too is if you're going to give up this fucking Russian mercenary who was like the <laughs> they called him like the king of death the or some king shit. Of death. Yeah. They called him some crazy yeah. ass that's name. His, that's what his nickname is for a fucking yeah, it's center. Like, it's something like like the menace of death. Some fucking wild for shit for a WNBA center. They're so, like at point guard, the king of death. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. That's pretty much <laughs> starting so, at death. <laughs> so the the craziest thing is is now we have so many people in America that are locked up for weed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let them out there. Yeah. If, yeah. if you're yeah. Willing, if you're willing to trade yeah. a fucking yeah. 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 murder. Murdering yeah, murderer? Yeah. 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 Big yeah. time. Let these people no, that are in there for fucking you're weed. Right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But Big time was, put in, in uh it's in New York. It's usually and it's minorities in New York is it's the worst. Yeah, bro. Oh, you know how many possession you know many? arrests and, yeah. and charges that people end up going to fucking jail for a ridiculous amount of time for Bud is crazy. And, and then they're fun. they're 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 in Rikers too Stop. with violent yeah, fucking like, lifers yeah, like, like maximum like, security prisons and shit. Imagine and, you and go to prison arrested at like 18, 19 years old. Yeah, and you go to prison and then you're in there and you have to live like your life in there. Cause yeah, here's the thing that happens like yeah i've done so many deep dives on prisons because i'm so afraid of going to prison you <laughs> yeah you you have to join a gang do you do anything currently in, oh, yeah, you have to Latin you Kings. have to that do would land do, me in is prison there, is there anything currently going on in your life that could land you in prison thankfully not yeah, but, no. being, but a mixed guy, but, being a mixed guy would suck because nobody yeah. wants you yeah it'd be like damn it's just like my childhood no all over you have you have to you would have to, you have to mob up you well, have we to, don't you, speak Spanish, so they wouldn't let us in. No, we have really? to go, with the, they, no, we have have to go to, with the Italians. We would have to go with the Italians. I'm yeah. down with that, too. Because yeah. they're Italian American. Whoever's going to take me, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah. Or we just start our own gang. Yeah, it's yeah. basically like dodgeball. That, that'll work. That'll yeah. go well. It's basically like well. dodgeball when you're a kid. Yeah, we'd have to all go to jail at once. I'm like, oh, they locked my brother up. I got to go commit a felony. So yeah, we like, go he with can't him. be in there by himself. No, because that's what they do, bro. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's 100% true. They make you join a gang. So now you go in there for this little ass bitch ass charge, right? That you shouldn't even be doing jail time for anyway. And then they make you go in there, and then now you gotta you gotta put in work. Yeah, right. call it. You gotta put in another work. case yeah. and catch, and another, catch case. another case. Catch another case. And now you're in Rikers forever because you fucking Dude, got caught with weed. We yeah. laugh about it, but it's super fucking common that you see young men, especially, go into prison for a small thing. Sometimes not even. Sometimes not even guilty of it. They've just been fucking. They've just been convicted of a crime they didn't do, and because they have to survive in jail, they end up becoming institutionalized and becoming a felon, a yeah. lifelong criminal, yeah. like in jail. They didn't even commit most of their crimes out in fucking in the street. They did it in society. They did it in jail. Yeah, it's really fucking common because they, they had to put in work. They, yeah, well, to God, survive. I used to love. Yeah, it, I, that's why I used to, I used to love watching Oz because I was like, yo, if I ever go to prison, I'm just gonna do what they do in the show. But the, oh, but but that show is so dramatic you, though. Oh, like, so dramatic. So and, much butt fucking in oh, it. And Adam BC would wear that little like mitten on his yeah, head. The, that little bead. That's, that's, cra- that's the craziest that show thing. Nuts. That yeah. guy lived across yeah. the street from us. Uh, Adam Billy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He fucking he videotaped me and my friends walking through his backyard once yeah wow. uh, fucking weirdo he, his he, wife was like they're out there again jk he should have just dressed up as, as schillinger and came out you guys would have fucking shit yourself oh yeah because he was brutal in oz yeah i started watching um uh orange is the new black um oh, that i didn't really that's an old show yeah, right? first season was good no the few seasons of it were it was it got better once it stopped getting once it stopped being comical to me but it was basically <laughs> the women version in like a comical kind of way right. of us. You know right. what I mean? Because some of it's pretty disturbing <laughs> to watch too. <laughs> yeah. Dude, watch it. You know how that show ended? No, you the, ever prison, see that guy? the prison gets anthrax. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. And then, and then they ship them all out like to like other places. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Oz. Oz looked kind of dope though, like with like the clear cells and shit. I was like, yo, this is kind of yeah. fun. Yeah, no, pods. that's right. Yeah, it looked like like uh, Hannibal Lecter cells. That show was brutal. The fact that we brutal. watched that show as kids is really bad. Now yeah, but mom and dad would try to keep us from watching The Simpsons though, which makes no sense. Yeah, Caitlin used to be like that too. Like, no, The Simpsons are like devil shows. Yeah, that show's hilarious. Yeah, oh, and brilliant. I, I remember just being like, "Yo, if I ever go to prison, I'm going to PC." And like, I know a lot of like you've known way more people in prison than yes. I, than I have. Yeah, I'm just I just know that if I I I could do well in PC, I say that D- now, dude. but now just being like, I, I can't imagine what twenty three and one is like. Yeah, no, yeah. you'd be surprised how how comfortable some jails actually would be for people that aren't violent criminals, right? But because you're not maxed out, like when you're when you're in a max prison, bro, you're in there with people that are never going home. You know, it's different. You know, there's, there's fuck my yeah, ass. there's jail, there's prison, there's max security, there's fucking underground jails and shit. Like based on whatever your fucking crime was, you you might not be in a population oh, where God. you really have to worry about I would getting never shipped. Wanna, yeah. You know what I mean? Or fucking, Yo, just knowing I gotta stay there, and, bro, and how long you yeah. have to be there. And, look, and every day we, is like, damn, how am I gonna fight? We watched I'm Oz fuck for a year. We watched Oz, and that scared us out of being like, I'm never fucking, I'm never committing. A yeah, crime. bro, I got a fat little fucking, skinny boy butt. I God knows, destroyed. God knows, I should have. There should, I should, if I had gotten caught doing some of the shit I did in my life. Do you have a you have a nice butt though? You have a nice butt, right, dude? Honestly, at not really at this point your ass kind of sucks not as not not as nice as it used to be my ass but i still kind of feel like you know it would be it would be pretty fun to look at in jail yeah no my ass like my ass sucks i'm doing great man yeah Yeah. you get fucking i would get absolutely thrashed in jail (laughs) (laughs) i would get so slammed no because the thing is like yo i'd be doing my own (laughs) i don't know bro like you listen that sound is in the beginning it's a guy getting fucked in his butt i'm not i'm not I'm not. I'm not gang affiliated. Never wanted to be. Never will. Yeah. As soon as I go in there, bro, I'm like, yo, I'd rather go crazy doing 23 and one dude. than be out here. With, you would they, be. Yeah. You would be a great gang guy though, because you'd be scary to look at. Dude, at there was yeah, there was this so, dude. So, there was, be like, this guy's a pussy. There was this dude that we, that <laughs> that we used. <laughs> there was this dude that for some reason uh, he used to cut. He used to chill with us. I remember we must have been about 16, 17 years God. old. He was he used to chill with us. I don't remember how he became part of like our circle, whatever. He, I think he was from Dykeman, Washington Heights. However, this or whatever, this dude ends up killing, I guess it was high on angel dust or something. Young dude, probably like early 20s or whatever, ends up getting like wired off of some shit, kills his girlfriend and like some other base head friend that she had. Like Put, shot him or stabbed him? I don't know. I don't know. I think he may have shot him and then and then kept him in the bathtub. And when the cops came to get him, they they um he was trying to Splash. climb out of a window or whatever. But he tr- he tried to claim like insanity because apparently allegedly he was like cutting up the bodies and trying to eat them. I don't know how accurate that is. Where was but this? That'll do it. This was this happened in in like Washington Heights, uh, and the dude was young. Like we knew about crimes like people stabbing each other, someone getting shot, someone getting like you know beat to death. It was that wasn't common, but it was more common than what God we were. Damn, to beat dude, to death is and, brutal. And, and we and we saw we I think we, we went to see him in jail, and he was just like, bro, don't ever come back here and see me again. Like I'm not, I'm never going home. I don't want to see you guys. Like I don't want visits. I don't want any of this. Damn, shit. you went to see that guy. We went to see the dude because I was going to say I was, was surprised like, you fucking went to visit right? him. What the dude. fuck, well, he, bro? You know, we went to visit him because we were like, this is our kind of like our little homie, and he was he was a cool dude. And even my two he homies, was, he was a cool <laughs> yo, dude. dude, he would did not. This is he was a he was a cool he was a cool dude with us because yeah, I never no, saw I get, him like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and Clearly then, I, he and then I had my two other friends that burned that building down. And uh, and and a little kid ended up dying in it. And uh, oh, one of the dudes Christ. just came home a few years ago um, because he had written in a journal or a diary that he didn't mean to do it, or there was some evidence that his oh, lawyer used really? to actually get him out. That sucks. But the other dude that was involved with him ended up k- killing like two people in prison, and nobody knows where the fuck he's at now. Apparently, there's some story that he may have committed suicide. While oh, he's still dead. to this but day. To this day, yeah, he's, yeah. And he's my age now, but he's been in jail since he was like 17, 18 years yeah, old. Yeah, you know what I want to ask you guys? This actually reminded me of this. Netflix, <gasps> Netflix is like all just true crime <laughs> shit. Like, like yeah. Americans or just people. Like, we love watching this. Weird Did you guys shit. watch Dahmer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, watch the shit out of it. These are very Dahmer's glasses. Yeah, that I know. He, they oh, fucked our swag up. Fucking yeah. Nori and I got on the Malcolm X's right now. Nori and yeah, those are the Malcolm X's. Nori and them were 
making fun of me saying that I had the Dahmer glasses. Oh, I started they? fucking dying laughing. I was like, yo, you didn't watch it? It was good. And they're all just like hood dudes. They were yo. like, hell no, we ain't watched that shit. What the fuck are we going to look at that shit for? Yeah, like, but bro. It was interesting. It was an interesting I like to story. Watch, it's, it, my, no, it is. Thing, but it's like, how many fucking things do we... Like, all of the I'm, top 10 on fucking Netflix is like, death. It's like gonna, rape, yeah, death, yeah. kill. And I'm going like, to put you guys on that. something. Yeah. This is one of the my favorite things to watch on YouTube right now. So... I don't like uh, dramatizations of like, because th th they just get shit wrong. Well, like reenactments. Yeah, and shit? I hate yeah. that shit. What right. I watch now is people that commit crimes, their mm -hmm. interrogations. Oh yeah, t them talking and their body language and how oh, they pick up on yeah, them and shit. Yeah, yeah. Like I saw. But is it actual footage of like? Yeah, oh, yeah shit, bro. So, yeah. It's real. It's yeah. real. And uh, like interrogation footage. Like I was watching one last night of this guy. Um, this kid who killed his brother okay with a baseball bat damn is this foreshadowing me right now no 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 <laughs> he, yeah he killed don't, his don't hurt michael he killed his brother with michael a baseball with with a baseball bat because he like ate more chocolates than he was supposed to and like yeah. that was like the last straw or whatever kid loves chocolate and the kid was like the kid was like autistic yeah yeah so like interrogating somebody with autism is like mad hard because, because like they're so all over the place yeah, right, and like right, they're right, so right. cute right. like the guy couldn't really pick up on like if he was lying or not yeah. he was like well he could be answering this just because he has and autism depending the level right. of autism right. Right. yeah right. like he was on the spectrum like he was high functioning and shit but like you could tell he was like where's my mom like you know, uh, yeah, I, yeah right. like, um, like he couldn't even like, register yeah he couldn't like um it's not that he's soulless but like almost like that's the one thing he's worrying about. He's yeah, not even worried that he just killed his brother. Yeah, he, his autism made him have like no empathy. Yeah, right. So, yeah, he was almost like a sociopath. Yeah, so like they were talking about it and they almost thought that like, yeah, like this kid's like going to get off until they found like uh, he tried to discard of uh, blood on his pants. Yeah, so they were like, if you're smart enough uh, to yeah, bloody uh, pick that shit, if you're smart enough to do that, you know what you, you were know doing. what the fuck is he going on. Yeah. yeah, damn, yeah, so, that's crazy. Yeah. So what he did was is they found also the other thing was is they found one of their cats yeah with rope tied around oh his he, neck. yeah he was killing animals he was like doing a whole bunch of yeah. weird shit it's pretty common uh, for people that that start off they, like they, murdering they start off with like animals and yeah because like the guy that. in the interview is like why was there rope around your cat's neck and he was like i don't know yeah and then he was like, and then later on they were like, "Well, listen, man." And then Jared, so was he like the Jared, he was like the Kaiser Sose? Was it or was the yeah, autism just yeah. like a, was? Damn, was it a, really? No, no, no. Because he was legitimately legitimately yeah, diagnosed, and then, and then he didn't break down until his grandma, who took care of them, their dad killed himself like three years before that. Okay, God. So then she took them in. And he killed him in his sleep with a baseball bat. Beat him to death with a baseball right, bat. Yeah. And then he, he threw he threw the bat yeah. over a fucking yeah. over a fence. Right. And oh, they found it. And yeah, they were like, like yo, this is your bat. It. His yeah. window was open. Yeah. Like he tried to like stage it like someone came in the window. Right. You're and also, and then, when you're dealing then, uh, with some, when you're dealing with somebody who's autistic, you could be dealing with someone who has no capability of understanding what they're doing or you could be, de be dealing with someone that's actually brilliant yeah you know what i mean and super calculated and and uh i don't know if they're he they're was not all often, over the place i don't i don't think people with autism are often um violent but they are but they know most they can be very aggressive when most they, autistic people aren't violent. yeah they're not right. they, that's what but you could see him he's like why is that hole in the wall like he was just yeah yeah and focusing on other things yeah. and then they close the door and he walks up to the hole in the wall and he's like why is that there yeah oh he's just like so so not then, even like hey I'm about to go to jail for the rest of my life they're he, just like yeah. he's just like hmm who painted who who did the, who's the interior decorator yeah. of this office he it's didn't cry, he didn't cry until like his grandma came in and like hugged him yeah and then he left and then like he was eating like a fucking croissant or something and that's when he started to cry because then it, it became real yeah he's like yeah. they're going to separate me from my nana yeah cuz they, like, they were like cuz they were like we're going to go to your room is it okay if you go in your room and he's like yeah just like don't go on my computer and like make fun of me cuz of my video games right is but can my nana come with me to jail and they were like no and he's like oh and then, fuck um, and uh, i saw another one this guy worked for fucking fedex and he, he had a, like a my little pony like obsession he was like 16 yeah and he fucking went out, went to his job at FedEx and like shot everybody. Dude, wait, what? What did that? But what did that? Did he? Did, was he playing like the My Little Pony song when he did it? Or no, he was just he was just pony. weird. Oh, just My weird. Yeah, he was just like weird. And then I saw one of a of a couple who killed uh, the mom of the of the guy, the guy's mom. Okay, yeah. And they tried her, her mother-in-law. Yeah, they strangled her with rope. Dude. 
And, Jesus. And then the, the girl is cold blooded in there. She goes, I didn't like her. Yeah. Do you like, watch I, this, I never liked you her. Watch I love that. Do you and watch then, this and right then, uh, before you go to then, sleep? No, I watch it. I try to watch it a couple hours before I go yeah, to sleep. Yeah, because you don't right. want you don't want to be marinating in that when no. you're about to go to bed. No, I don't have night. I've watched a lot of shit. I'm like, how how come I've never had? I don't have any of those nightmares. I always have nightmares about like ex girlfriends. It's so weird from like millions <laughs> well, of years like ago. A nightmare. Yeah, no, it I, is. Yeah, those are nightmares. my nightmares nowadays are like health induced. Right. Like if I'm like having a heart attack in a nightmare. Gotcha. Yeah. Those are like my nightmares now. Like yeah. I don't have nightmares where like. Michael Myers is like chasing me around and shit. Yeah. But like I have nightmares where I'm like, oh my God, like I'm legitimately gonna fucking die here. Like I had a I had a nightmare like a month ago where I was in the hospital for like three weeks, like learning how to walk again and shit. That's crazy. I got I got into like some, some kind of accident. I don't know, but I woke up right. in the hospital and everyone was like, yo, like you're gonna be okay, bro. Like you're gonna walk again and shit. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? And then I looked down at my legs and they were like starfish <laughs> legs. They were like shellfish. <laughs> no, starfish. starfish. I looked like Patrick Swapping. Star. Yeah, like I had no feet. <laughs> And Damn, I said, your dream was like, literally like a three week long timeline while yeah. you were in there. Bro, it was a re- it was a rehab assignment. And then and then I wake up. I've only been asleep for twenty five minutes. Dude, I've recently That's, been so fall- it felt like three Dude, weeks. I, yeah, I've recently been falling asleep, and within like the first ten minutes of being asleep, I'm already dreaming. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, is that deep sleep? Is that REM sleep? I don't know. No? I don't know how long it well, takes. Well, since you to get I stopped into drinking, sleep. since I stopped drinking, my dreams have gone fucking absolutely off the walls. Yeah, so yeah. You can remember like them, I feel yeah. like even my dreams are just like, yo, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, because it's just like it's just random shit. I'll just be like fucking a girl and then all of a sudden she's just like is a dolphin yeah like it's just like it's like my dreams are like like something broke in the matrix and now dolphin everything's builder. just like fucked up and mad weird dude i tell daniel all the time i had a dream once i was kissing this girl i went to school with and i got up and i was like mm. and then it was my friend seth and then i went back down and kissed him again and i came back up and came up and it was dad <laughs> <laughs> It yeah. was just dad, and dad was just like this, just smiling back at me. Have you ever? Yeah, it's so, so, it's so weird like, ah! because it's it's it's, it's not gay, right? It's a yeah. dream. It's just you know, happening. like that's what I tell people, or like in it? dreams, like one of our. I'm not gonna say his name, but one of our friends texted me once in our in our friend group chat, and it was like, "Yo, like Danny, I just ha- I like I have to tell you something." Oh so yes. I was like, so I was like, all right, side, yeah. can you side text me? Yeah, and I was like, all right, what's up? He was text like, yo, he's like, I just had a dream like where I was walking down like this dark alley. That fucked you. No. Yeah. And you were just getting like raped in your ass. Jesus what? Christ. Yeah, bro. This dude had a dream the where fuck? he was walking down an alley and some dude was just raping my ass. Was there anything God, bad going using on in that your word. life at the time? No. That you knew about? Scary, no, but it fucking scared me, bro. I was yeah. like, yo, just so you and know. And he was like, what are you doing tomorrow? You want to come over? He was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's a, one of the creepiest dreams. And I was like, oh, I've was had the guy hot? Crazy dreams. Was the guy <laughs> was hot? Was the guy hot? Yeah, was the guy hot? Like? I've was, had the best dreams are like when you're like holding. When you're really good friends with like rappers and shit, like right. I used to have dreams where like Biggie Smalls was like my best friend. Yeah, yeah, I love I hate dreams like that. And I get so sad. I'm like, damn, he doesn't know me. I've had like I've had like an idol dream. I think <laughs> I was like around. The, yeah, I've had like idol dreams. Like I think it was like Michael Jordan was just like uh, teaching me ball or something yeah. when I was a kid, and I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so, so good. good and I, I woke tomorrow. up and I'm like, I'm a fucking loser. <laughs> I suck at this. The worst no one loves me. The worst dreams are the ones where you have money. Oh, and you wake oh, up and yeah, that money yeah, ain't there, cuz. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I've had dreams where I won the lotto in my dream and all my money was in like my top drawer of my dresser. And I remember getting up the next day and being like, yo, I'm gonna go buy some fly shit and open it up and ain't nothing but socks in that motherfucker. And being like, the wow. Worst. And closing that shit so fucking disappointed. I was like, God damn, that dream really took me do you have a ride. dream? Uh, do you have a dream that you remember forever? Like from when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Um, yes. Not from when I was a kid, but from about ten years ago. What was it? Oh man! Even if, oh, is it fucked? If it's fucked up, right, you have it, to say. it was. It was. It. it if it's it was too a, much, do you, want, do, you, do you want me to tell mine first? And you can think if you want to tell it. It's not about. Yeah, I all guess. Right, yeah. All right, all right. So I, this is the one dream this that is will not stick. Funny. That will it's stick just with a me for scary, a, scary dream, and it was so vivid. Yeah. You know? So this is a. So we used to live over there, on uh, uh, Main Street, when we used to live over there, and. Um, we used to have like all those units. So I have a dream where I walk into the unit, uh, mm-hmm. into the building and I'm opening all the doors and there's a different person from our family and they're crying. Mm-hmm. But like they, but like they're not answering me. I'm like, yo, why are you crying? You know? And then like I go in the other one. It's like, uh, it was like Daniel and Jonathan were crying in a, in a room together. And then I go over there. It was like 
Aunt Rose was like crying and shit. Yeah. And then like uh like as I'm getting like up the stairs, I'm going into all the rooms and like there's a different member of our family crying, right? And then in the last room, which is the living room of our apartment, it's empty. There's no furniture, there's nothing. Yeah. It's just a fucking milk crate and it's dad dressed in a tuxedo playing the trumpet. That's so fucking wow, weird. That is what? fucking creepy. I don't know why that like what? that's so vividly thought out and and weird. Yo, it yeah. was so weird. You gotta bro. like put that. You ever make a show? You yeah, you gotta, you gotta just that. put that in there. How long ago did you have that dream? Maybe twenty years ago. Really, and yeah. you could just see it clearly. To yeah, I remember. I remember it was the summer going into my freshman year of high school. Were you scared yeah. in the dream when you saw Dad? Yeah, bro, because nobody could hear. No one was answering me, and Dad was in a full like orchestra tuxedo playing the trumpet on, on top of on, on a milk crate in the living room in the living room that's fucking weird yeah no, i think i've told i might have told that story about this dream before like yeah. maybe on the basement yard but yeah but that's a scary yeah fucking that's dream. so it, creepy that shit fucked with me for yeah. mad long you, so I, could I, you I mean, this is probably a funny question could you hear what this the trumpet in your dream i could hear the i could hear the trumpet in my dream yeah. i could hear it but i just remember like people like sobbing uncontrollably i'm like yo what the fuck no, like, i just came in from outside crazy you ever had a dream that you wake up from and then go back to sleep and it continues? Yeah. You've ever had those? Yeah, yeah. I thought I was I always thought it was the weirdest thing to I'm like it was like almost like I hit pause on the dream and got up and started like drank like down like a bottle of water or something and went back to bed and that shit literally was just like I laid back down, I closed my eyes, I hit fucking play and that shit just started playing almost exactly from where the the spot was. Every once in a while I'll have dreams where I'll like I'll have panic attacks while I'm dreaming. I'll have panic attacks while I'm asleep, and I, and, and I'll wake up in the middle of a panic attack. Yeah, that shit. Sucks. I've had dreams that's, where I call them I call terrible. them lobster domus dreams. Lobster dom. Because like <laughs> I'll go to bed, I'll go to bed, I'll go to bed, and it'll be like the moon colliding with the earth and shit. Yeah. And like planets, and like I had this one dream once. I was on the top of a skyscraper, and I was just like no, and like the and a planet was just coming towards, and there were tornadoes everywhere, and I think it has to deal with just like me just being a scared bitch of like weird ass like natural disasters yeah, yeah. or something like I, I, the worst is when i have dreams when i'm really good at something that i want to be good at like I, I had a very vivid dream where i was an amazing skateboarder okay. <laughs> i think you're gonna, I think you're gonna yeah. say amazing at sex oh no yeah, yeah. well that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's that's definitely in my dreams that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> definitely in my that's dreams. definitely yeah that's definitely yeah cool you true. love skateboarding though for like you were better than i was yeah dude younger. i was i was pretty good but did I, you I, skate when was that jersey yeah, jersey, yeah. yeah I because that. You, the reason i skated so much it was because like i kind of had friends but like I was looking for a way to like get friendly with other yeah, kids. So I was right. like, yo, if I could do is a good way to do and it. And I was like, if I could do like an Ollie or like a pop shove it, yeah. you know what I yeah. mean? And like hang out. Like so that's when I was like able to like make some friends. I would right. love to pick up the skating influence again. It's just how I would get hurt. The influence yeah. of all the fucking white kids we were near was also really taking a toll yeah. um, because we were just like, we, uh, we were out there. We're like CKY2K fucking Bam Margera. Just like, yeah. da -da -da -da, did it like trying to do tricks. I, Danny, we, we had that. Once we had that camera, Danny, I was just making Danny slap the shit out of me. I was crashing bikes on purpose. Danny yeah, was like to, jumping off roofs and shit. Yeah. With, oh, it was on like skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. That's the, what happened like while we were out in Jersey. So we, well, so we took up like skating for a while and Danny was like better than I was, but like, I, we both tried, but we always, mom always got us like, you know, mom was, we were like, we want this skateboard that he has. And she would come back with like some fucking 1980s, 1980s like California yeah, like surfboard. Wide board. Yeah. And everyone was like, like you guys are Max. fucking losers. Like, what was that movie? Like dogs of something. That's like dogs she, of uh, Valley town or yeah. no, no bros of dog town. Yeah. Yeah. Something's yeah. yeah. Of dog town, Lords, yeah. Lords of dog town. Lords of dog town. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like they, she would get us like fucking pool ripping fucking things. I'm yeah. like, if I show yeah. up with this, yeah. they're going to make gonna fun of me. Fucking, yeah. Yeah. They're going to butcher. Yeah. We wanted like BMX bikes. You know what I mean? A vivid dream that I have sometimes too is, is, I'll be in full football gear walking down the hill to play. Yeah. Walking down the ramp? Yeah, and then, oh, that's yeah. awesome. And then it ends, though. I never play. Yeah. I had it ends before who's, who's, yeah, the, I who's yeah. the yellow guy out of Bert and Ernie? He's Bert. Bert. Uh, I had a dream that I was, I had the in where you are dream and I went downstairs with mom and dad to sleep next to them because I was, I was younger and I was afraid of whatever. And, uh, and uh, Bert was coming up as the doll but moving like really oh, like, weird, like this like, jesus and his eyes were red and he was like 
like making weird ass fucking noises and his eyes got lasery and the oh the oh, other yeah, dream right, I had right. I tell people this all the time is fucking Caitlin because we were always hanging out with her at the time I had a dream that I went upstairs and Caitlin was in her room in the dark just going like this like like just moving and I couldn't see her and I was like I was like, Kika, mm. like, went to get her, and she fucking turned around, and her eyes were coming out oh, of her fucking Jesus. head, and she, so was, and she just goes, want a Snapple? <laughs> <laughs> because we used to always go upstairs yeah, and drink Snapples and their, and oh, their yeah, juice. Bro. They Uncle always Lois had juice always upstairs. Because he had a juice route, so yeah. he always had a... I, I, can't, saw, I, I never told you guys too. that dream? No. no. I don't think so. Yeah, that shit right, fucked me up. Yeah. Let me do these ads. If do anyone it. has to use the bathroom, go for it. Um, but uh, our first our first ad is our friends over at... Policy genius. You're going to need a policy genius after you hear these these dreams. Uh, listen, everybody knows the younger you are when you get life insurance, the better rate you're going to get. That's just how it is. The older you get, you get a little more, you know, bumps and bruises, you know, a little couple of things, you know, that might make it hard for you to get a good policy. So it's never too early to get life insurance. Uh, so this is what you need to know. Never. Um, I got life insurance through Policy Genius about a year and a half ago, and they matched me with the best rate for me. And I'm paying a very, very, very good price for my policy. Um, but listen, this is what I want you guys to understand. Uh, policy Genius was built to uh, modernize the life insurance industry. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from top companies like AIG, Prudential, in just a few clicks to find you the lowest price. Uh, with Policy Genius, you could find life insurance that started just $17 per month for $500,000 worth of coverage. Pretty good, if you ask me. Uh, listen, and the other thing too is uh, Policy Genius uh, has licensed agents who can help you find options that cover uh, in as little of uh, as a week and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Uh, they're not incentivized to recommend one insurer over another, so you can trust their guidance. There are no added fees, and your personal info is private. Uh, so no wonder they have thousands of five star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. I mean, they're doing their thing over there. So listen, if you're in the market. And you're looking for a life uh, life insurance policy because you know you want to take care of people when you're not here. God forbid. But sometimes we have to be grown ups and make grown up decisions, and life insurance is one of them. So if you head to policygenius.com uh, or click on the link in the description to get your free life insurance quotes now, uh, and you could see how much you could save. So that's policygenius p o l i c y g e n i u s dot com, and go get yourself an amazing life insurance policy. M I C K U I, M O U S E. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Hell yeah! But, but also, also Mickey Mouse got life insurance too, probably. Thank you to you guys too as well. Yes, because uh, I'm in the same boat, so appreciate it very much. There we go. And then uh, our next uh, ad is from our friends over at Manscape. Manscape. What can I say about Manscape? It's the holiday season, so don't let your jingle balls get too hairy. Okay. You know, you might want to deck the halls, but also check your balls. <laughs> All right. And, and you know, you don't want to be the one guy going up to your Christmas vacation with your family and you forgot to shave your pubes and they're coming out and they're all gross and you're itching yourself by the Christmas tree and everyone's worried about you. Like, dude, what's going on with this guy? He won't stop itching himself. You want to know why? It's because you forgot to use the lawnmower 4.0. Uh, the lawnmower 4.0 is amazing. Has this amazing light on it, so it gets in the crevice of my of like my gooch, and I can actually see where I'm shaving. It's very hard because down there it is dark. It's jungle. It's dark and mischievous. So uh, yeah, the lawnmower 4.0 is amazing. Uh, you guys really need to go there. I use the weed whacker for my nose and my ear hairs. Yes, I get hairs in my ear. It's gross. Uh, but I do use the Weed Whacker. Uh, they have an, they have amazing products. If you want ball deodorant, they got it. Uh, if you want uh, a, a, a razor, like for close shaving, close shaving, they have the plow, which is amazing as well. So listen, I want you guys to head over to manscaped.com right now. Use the promo code LOPS, L-O-P-S. Save 20% and get free shipping. Sounds pretty damn good to me. All right. They got amazing things. Perfect stocking stuffers for that man in your life. That just needs to clean up a little bit. Just clean it up. Uh, yeah, so go to manscaped.com, promo code LOPS, get 20% off and free shipping. It ain't a bluff. Get rid of that dick scruff. Yeah. Bars. Yeah. But yeah, so Jared, uh, I, I I prepared a couple questions for you because Ooh. Michael and I, we talk all the time on this Can show. Can I wear we this people. shirt on here? Yeah, look at yeah, us. Yeah, though. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, we look like we all got into heaven. Yeah. 
which <laughs> definitely is going to happen. <laughs> we all look fucking. Up. We didn't plan this either. We're in the bathtub to, yeah. to heaven. We're yeah. in the bathtub to heaven. Um, <laughs> how's Florida treating you? Florida's treating me good, man. It's um, a fucking tan, bitch. Yeah, dude. You can't help it out there. It's just God like, damn, dude. Look how fucking tan dude, he is, bro. Those fucking God albinos. Damn. Me and Danny match our shirts. I know. Oh, you guys, Fuck. You dude. guys are pasty. Yeah. You want to know why I like getting a tan? It makes my teeth look whiter, too. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I just bought it one, for the first time in my life, uh, an electric toothbrush, a sonic care, or whatever the fuck. Dude, it's, oh, it's, it's, like, it's effective. I yeah, mean, I, I have still a quick... Look, my teeth still look like they're made out of butter, but it's getting... <laughs> It's getting better. Yeah, I'm going to get like my teeth done. And Wait, no, I have uh, so, I have sibling tag questions right now. Okay, okay, <laughs> but, but yeah, 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 yeah. Miami's Miami's been good. I took off a good amount of work, uh, a good amount of time from work to uh, just deal with some personal stuff, um, and kind of just stayed away from the scene. Um, but but you know, Miami's always good to you, man. It's you, you kind of you have to t- you have to do it in doses though. You know, it's very easy to run out of gas in Miami, and it's yeah. like Miami can be party, all all consuming. Yeah, I don't party like I used to, so I'm not using anything to help me get through the, those party those party you know binges. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, but it's I mean Miami's dope. I, I've gotten a, I've gotten out of gas, and it's it's home. When's know? when's the last time you went to Eleven? The last time I went to Eleven was about I want to say about a month ago. I want to, yeah, I want to say about a month ago, but I went to 11 at like six in the morning. Damn. Yeah. It's crazy. That's rough. I know. <laughs> what the fuck am I thinking? But it's, it's like, it's kind of lit though. The food's yeah. good. I get, I never eat. I, I can't eat while strippers are around me. It bothers me. It's like, really? It's, yeah. It's like mixing. Why? You think they're like, they're, Clitoris flakes are falling. It's you don't want to get like buffalo sauce on their clitoris. No, you think, you just think just, like their <laughs> vagina, well, no, like well, vagina no, skin's no, gonna no, land in your no, pasta. No, but, no I, think, I, I guess, I guess, cause, I guess it's like because you don't look cool while you're crushing like a wing, and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, you're, uh, you're like, yo, as soon as I'm doing these, these fucking. Buffalo, oh, you like want to look? Dude, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like. A, um, no, I go. I have my few drinks, and I get and I get out of there. I, I it, because you end up spending a ton of bread. Oh yeah, yeah dude. You, go, you know how yeah, expensive those buffalo wings are. Here's the thing about strip club too. That's kind of crazy that I learned. Uh, and, and Eleven's not a strip club. It's no, a club it's, with it's strippers. No, it's a club with strippers. It's a club it's, it's with strippers. Cla- it's classy. It's different. It's different. Classy's generous. Yeah, but, but it's, it's, but it's no, not like it's not like a, it's not like a place club. near an airport. No, Eleven's a club classy. with strippers. Yeah, it's cool. It's classy. Yeah. Nah, and they have, I, and they have yeah. like four DJs at once and shit. Right. Which Dude, is like not to mention you get there at four thirty in the morning, and all of a sudden it's like fucking Rick Ross is performing. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. It's and you're sitting like ten feet away from it. I, yeah. you, you oh, it's that popping, huh? Yeah, you can't dislike Eleven, and I've Michael, been fortunate. You would love Eleven, dude. You love would love Eleven. Yeah, and 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 Eleven and for, is awesome. And I am single me, now. So. Yeah, for, there you go. Yeah, come through. It's it, it, fortunate. I go <laughs> maybe, with my maybe, girl. Maybe we should do my bachelor party down there. To Florida? Maybe you should. And then, yeah, and then, maybe and then, you should. And then, and then we'll go. We'll go to eleven. There's, there's no greater city. I mean, better than Vegas, in my opinion. Um, yeah, to, to do it right now. Everybody's in Miami, bro. Like every show, every rapper, every fucking artist. Yeah. Like that's where you're gonna find it. You get, a, you get away. See, what, what I, what I would like to do is, I would like to schedule where I do a show there that weekend, and then just, and then uh, do my bachelor. Do it, and I'll get the boat. Yeah, we'll go out on the yacht. Sounds good. We'll turn up, yeah. So yeah, uh, shout out to Miami three hundred five. Represent oh. Collins. Uh, three hundred five is, is where is where I I do most of my 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 uh, trooping around and work. But have I, you ever I, met Pitbull? I haven't. Damn, dude. I haven't. That's the not, one. Not that's the one. Miami. Uh, are there any, but I, are there but any like, like Dolly I've, statues anywhere? Uh, no, he's an icon though. Miami loves him. But I feel like I've met twenty. Fucking thousand different dudes that look like Pitbull or want to be Pitbull. So I guess in a probably, way they probably are Pitbull. Yeah. I so, guess in um, a way. so how long have you been living there now? Two years. December twenty eighth will be two years. And yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Not damn. Mm-hmm. Dude, fucking time fly. I remember I picked yeah. you. I went and saw your I'm apartment still, for you. I just signed, yeah. I just signed another year for that apartment. It's gone up just a few hundred bucks. It's not crazy. Yeah, I wish. But it's uh, but it's a good place to save money. Miami's so expensive right now, homie. Like if what's if, your what's your rent? If you don't mind me asking. It's under two grand. God, I would suck someone's cock. From Dude, I hear you. It's but, fucking but bro, amazing. But I don't it's have so any. Good. But I don't have any of the amenities. Like my neighborhood's not bad by any means. Like, but I don't live like lavishly. Right. You know what I mean? No. Nah, like, but you live so close to South Beach, though. Oh, it's a it's it's a fifteen minute ride. It's six miles away. On my motorcycle, I get there in 15, 20 minutes. Dude, South Beach kind of sucked when I was there last time, though. It was yeah, it but was, you were there during COVID. I was there. Oh, during, the last no, time you the came. Last time I came, but no. The, South South Beach was lit when I was in the Versace yeah. mansion. 
That shit gotcha. was fire. Yeah, I, dude, I have. I'm so lucky that I have so many connects that I've met through my through my job. Where it's like I don't wait on any lines. I go to any club. Yeah. That's the only way. That's beach. the only way to fucking do my beach. Beach. I go in there. They're, they're like comping a bottle for me. These owners that's are the super only way. Like nice yeah. people. Just getting Especially in the to dudes places. at like Eleven, bro. They show us so much love. Yeah, bro. Like literally, I've gone into Eleven, and I'm not like bragging or anything, but they've been like welcome. You know, like. Our Lady of Rock or Carbone, like good to have you guys here. I'm looking at the screen, like holy shit. Like, yeah. it's, but they're so cool with us that it's like I don't take advantage of it. But every now and then, if I call and I'm just like, yo, I want to pull up and I just want to come with like a few friends. I don't want to do anything crazy. They're like, yo, we got you table. Yo, we got you two bottles. That's yo, the only way to do it. Girls over and I'm just like, holy shit. It makes me look like the man. Yeah. Like two, like like three of my homegirls from New York came down. And they were celebrating one of the girl's birthdays. And I linked them with my girl. They went to her, the club and blah, 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 blah. And they're doing their thing. And and after that, we go out to the club. And we're going from like club to club to club. And these girls are like, bro, What's, what did we do spend then? any money tonight? And I'm no. like, I hope you tip somebody because that's all you got to do. Yeah, that's what She's it like, is. dude, did, I, she said, how much do you think a night like this would have cost us if we had come out of pocket? I right. said, oh, we probably would have spent like two or three Hell I feel like, hell I feel like yeah. Miami, what? Miami gives Miami gives Because girls get drinks on a regular. Like, dudes don't get free drinks. Miami, get especially when it comes to that own it. Especially when it comes Miami to gives yeah, hope. Miami gives hope to like an old guy who thinks he can't party yeah. anymore. Oh, uh, let me tell you something. Oh, those dudes will party listen, you under the listen, table. Yeah. My, 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 girl, my, girl's kind of, my girl's kind of the plug. She's got the plug down there. Like, we, you know, I do the restaurant thing. She does the club thing. So wherever we go, they're, they're usually taking great care of us. What's your girl's name again? Tatiana. Tatiana. So, I was just saying so, so, last night, Tata. Tati is such a sexy name. Tati. It is. Tatiana's a, a fucking she's sexy She's a sexy young lady. Tati, Tato. Sexy. Yeah. So she, she could hook 11 up for the bachelor party? I can. Yeah, but she could do. She, oh, I'm wait, not, she's I'm, not 11. What am I talking about? No, no, I'm not going to name drop her club because I don't no, want yeah, people no, no, running no, up yeah, on yeah, her. But, yeah. like, but, but like her club is like probably one of the tougher clubs to get into. All right, so we'll go there. And, uh, bro, she would love to meet you guys. Like, all right, we're, we're gonna kick it. We're gonna kick it this weekend. Yeah, yeah she's, all right, cool. she's great. She's great. I, she's great company. Man. I have. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not gonna do all of them, but I have 200 sibling tag questions oh, for us. Shit, okay. and we're gonna see which one is you know which one we are these coming in vibe with right the most. No. Oh, you just no, had these on deck. Wish. That'd be cool. Gotcha. Um, all right. First one is who is noise who's the noisiest? You. You. I am? Yes. yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. Yeah. What? Dude, what? It's I thought like, you yeah. guys don't shut up ever. No, no. Wait, no. who's the noisiest like in a house to, to live with? Yeah. Me. I yeah. would say you. You. Damn, for real? Yeah, bro. I mean, we're all kind of noisy. You, though, no, but bro. you stream it's like video 12 games, hours. It's guitars, it's like Tourette's. Tourette, yeah. Tourette's. I mean, yeah. I didn't want to say babies. I didn't I mean, want to say I it. might be the noisiest because I bring the most people with me. I used to go, I used to go, and Jared would go, woof, woof. Like, Jared would respond to me in yeah, the other yeah. room. It was, I actually liked it. It was funny. Yeah. No, All right, I, so then me. Yeah, I would say that you're yeah. the loudest for sure. Okay. But not obnoxious. No, 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 no. But like, who, you're just the loudest. Who is the most sensitive? Danny. Me. For sure. Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah. I'm right next to you a little bit, though. Yeah. I'm a little but more. You are, I, yeah. And I'll say, you guys are sensitive in different ways. Danny is sen sensitive in a way where he's like, where he's like offended by something. You're sensitive in a way where you have a short fuse for things. Where yeah, you're just yeah, like, I, I don't do. want to fucking. I do. Don't, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I do. It's different. I'm like a mixture of both because I'm do. especially nowadays in my 40s, bro. Yeah, I'm you're watching very like, patient, dude. I'm watching you're like a Geico patient. commercial. I start fucking crying. Yeah, you, know you are like, very I'm a patient. Mess. You are very patient. Usually, now a lot of people be like, "Yo, Jared is so easygoing, man." I am. I you would know what say mean? I'm yeah, very. Shit. Depends on who who I'm around. Yeah, I would yeah. say I'm very sensitive to the fact, like, I'm I'm very dramatic. Like, right. So, like, if you wrong me, I'll never talk. I'll to never you talk again. to you. Yeah. Uh, well, you get that from dad. Dad is like that. Yeah. 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 So, like, I'm sensitive to like, but I, I'll get sensitive over something that like probably could have been handled with a conversation. Yeah. But I'm just like, we've to, gotten to, better. To, we've gotten better. We've gotten better at that. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I, I think I got a little better at being. I think you've gotten a lot better. Forgiving. At, I think you've gotten a lot better. At who's yeah. uh Who's the better dan? Who's the best dancer? You. Michael. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who's the laziest? Me. Really? I think I could beat yeah. you on that one. No, no you've no, been no. very no, no, active no. lately because you're you're a bit OCD with like cleaning and you're organized. Yeah. Danny, I'm not talking about like Danny, work ethic. I'm talking about life. I'm a pig. Oh Dan, yeah. Danny would just <laughs> dude. Danny dude, Danny would come out of a bathroom roll. <laughs> 
<laughs> Danny would. I'm, not Danny about would work walk, ethic. I'm like, I'm a fucking pig. Danny would walk. <laughs> Danny would walk to the bathroom, and there'd be one sock, another sock, undies, drawers, a yeah. fucking yeah, uh, yeah. A wife beater, all this other shit. Come out, Dude, not touch Danny used any to come into the room. Yeah. He, he would get, stay right there. He would get there, done bro. a shower. He'd come in the room. He'd be like, "Yo, it's good," and just drop the yo, towel right there in front of me. I was like, "Yo, this kid never cleans." Leave it right there. Yeah, So like, you've always been kind of tidy. I've always found you to be. Yeah, that's my. I get it from mom. Yeah, I would. Like, I'm not like when it comes to this stuff and like creative You're stuff on it i'm on it yeah. yeah i love being creative especially just lately like, especially lately yeah for sure like i'm i'm crushing it. i can't be mad like but like for me it's day-to-day stuff like i'm fucking lazy fucking bro. lazy i'm yeah. lazy bro if, yeah. if, if it's not like gonna help my career and like do like because when i wake up in the morning i'm like yeah all right so how do i make the show better how do i make myself better and how do i make my yeah. life better yeah. well in your and relationship then I'm like, you push toward you're not lazy with your relationship though no nah, no nah, no nah, nah. i go hard i don't for think it means it seems like you go hard every time yeah. you're in one so. yeah no you have, that's you why pretty, you're the best he's, i think he's pretty he seems like he's got it together as far as like planning stuff for his lady yeah. and yeah. doing things that are thoughtful so you know cute. and so you know women love that shit yeah, yeah i'm good at that, that stuff up. but but the, i think the thing that drives selena the most nuts is that i could be cleaner yeah right like i'll take like my pills out of like the pill uh like uh like behind the mirror and i'll leave them on the sink like instead of like just putting them back right yeah. right right I feel you know what i mean yeah. like yeah. and you think about little, it too, like the little you're, you're like i'm not gonna put those yeah, back. you want to know what's kind of contemplate crazy? replacing putting them back and you're like nope I, not I doing think, that i think i'm so far gone that i don't even think that i'm, I'm so forgetful i'm yeah. a very forgetful person gotcha like uh i'll be like oh my god like Yo, I really just didn't do that. And it, like, it's almost like I don't give a shit, which is no, like worse. I, and I know that it's real because back in the day, I used to be like, yo, is he fucking with me? Because like you wouldn't, you would be like, what? And I was like, yo, is this kid serious? I just said like a whole thing. But I it, yeah. I could tell after a while, I was like, it's 100% Danny's just like, his his brain's just on something else at the time. Yeah, I'm always like, honestly, yo, know, when I wake up, it's like, all right, I'm going to make sure like my dogs are good. So I could do whatever it is I want to oh, do today. Dude, these get so all right. We gotta keep keep going though, because yeah. these get so good. Yeah, no, keep going. Who, uh, not to interrupt. No, 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 no. no, no. Go ahead, Who's please. better at keep who's the best at keeping a secret? Yeah. You. You. Yeah, probably you. you. I yeah. am uh, I I I've gotten better. I used to be a big mouth, but probably I've Because yeah, I have yeah. secrets I've told him that have gotten back to you. <laughs> yeah. Really? You and but and, and but, yeah, and vice versa. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Can you yeah. can you can you can you really? Yeah. I kind of find myself to be a good secret. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't really think it's you secret. probably told that secret. So I'll tell you who's not the best secret keeper in our relationships. Family. Is mommy. Mommy. Worst no, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my forget god. it. No, no, no. This is what I mean. Get out. Tell her. No, fucking worst. She will tell on your ass. This is what I mean. This is what I mean by that. In in that certain situation, I feel like amongst brothers, it's not really a secret. No, I right. agree. I know. Maybe, maybe, I, I maybe I transferred that message out of concern. Yeah. yeah, it was transferred out of concern. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, all right. So like, I didn't take it like, oh, like you ratted on me. I was yeah. like, oh, he's just kind of like looking for, out for me. Yeah. Right. I mean, he's like, Jared's you know, really. I mean, I thought you were gonna you keep. No, that really was more, that was a more you like the meeting. You had a friend families. that murdered two people and chopped up their faces and ate it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, I don't know if he actually secret. ate it. I think he said that to try to plead insanity oh, so he yeah, could yeah, get out. Saying. Yeah. I don't know if that's um, what the. I know he killed those two motherfuckers though. No, I'll tell. I'll tell you this. I'm, I'm really good at keeping the secrets that need to be kept secret. Right. Me too. Me like too. Like the bodies, where me the too. bodies Because it's are. like a moral yeah. thing, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, um, if you, like, if you came to me and told me, like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, I'm going to go here, but, like, don't tell, like, them I went here. Yeah. I'll just be like, now you're just asking me to lie for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, I'm not going to do that. I like, mean, my, I, you know what I mean? For yeah. you, I'll do it. Right. But, right. like, I'm not going to feel good about my it. Strat- now, now I'm now I'm in it with you. Right. Right. Now I'm, a, yeah, now me, I'm a co- now I'm a, a, an accessory. Yeah. I mean, I'm an accessory yeah. and a co-defendant at yeah. this point. So, yeah. like, <clears throat> I've always thought to myself, if you ever have a secret that you, re- because secrets burn you up and you really want to tell somebody. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are so you, strong. You, and you have to, it's like it's when like you, it's like when you have a Christmas you. gift for somebody, you're just like, you want to know what I got you? you yeah. I mean? You want to open it before Christmas? Yeah. You, you, the best way to do that is just pick one person that you could tell that to, because you know, if it gets out, you know who it was that, yeah. got, that, that let it leak. I, you know I, what I mean? But I've told secrets that I've been told secrets that I'll never even talk about again. Yeah. Right. Like someone told me that secret and I've never even spoken about yeah, it. Yeah, you're just like, yeah. Do you guys have I secrets can't. that you still have never told anybody? Um, yeah. Yes. I do. But nothing like it's nothing that would be like, oh damn. But like No, it's more yeah. like for me personal it's, it, things. It, no, for me it's like more like embarrassing things. Well, I think yeah, yeah. Me, me too, like yeah. like like yeah. moments like I've had when in you were school. a kid. Yeah. You when know, I was a kid. Yeah. Mostly when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. I think for me those the, any of those those type of secrets are just like 
the one other entity that needs to know is the higher power. Also, you not know, everything, yeah. not everything need to needs to be known. No, not everything needs to be it's fucking known. But um, secrets eat you up. All right, who likes sharing their clothes, shoes, and food more? I think Danny. I'm a great I think sharer. you've gotten Danny. better. You've gotten so one hundred percent. Literally 100%. tonight. Literally tonight. Yeah, I've gone. I've gone out of my way to hide shit from you, fucking vultures. Yeah. <laughs> when you were fucking kids, and you found Jared, it. Dude, dude, we would where always there was a diamond studded earring, a new fucking set of sneakers, dude. A, j- a, a jacket, a hat, a no de- matter a what. Snake, honestly, a dead okay, fucking this is with, snake. This is with, honestly, I understand now I could and put it all anywhere. the respect. And I was playing, would find that I shit. was playing basketball at the, at fucking, at the field in this town. One of the greatest I'm days I'm playing of my life. and I just see the Yasuzu pull up and I'm like, yo, I'm fucked. I don't know <laughs> what it is, but you, I'm you fucked. Stole, you stole his Jared San Francisco up, Giants hat. Dude, he was playing like big pun or something. He fucking put the car in brake, came down while I'm in the middle of basketball. I'm like, yo, what's good? You're like, what's good? What's good? <laughs> what you did to my fucking jeans or like your shoes? Yeah. I scuffed his shoes, beat the shit out of me yeah. in front of and everybody, and then left me there. It just never went back in the same condition. Yeah. And, and you and you were yeah. wearing his hat at the moment. And I think I was wearing yeah. it. Jared it was beat the shit out of me. It was a San Francisco Giants hat. I'll never but, forget it because it was one of the greatest days of my I life. But I get it, though, because he worked. <laughs> Jared worked so hard to get the things that he did, of it, yeah. like his Gavinci's, whatever the fuck yeah. it was. So and I would just go in there and just snatch that shit. Yeah, so snatch I get it. it. But the best thing about it is that later on I would see like a picture on like Facebook somewhere and I'm like, you motherfucker. Right. I would see you wearing it. You're like, yeah. I didn't have it. I'm like, yeah, you fucking did. See, I was but, size- but I should have been easier going with that stuff. But like you said, it's just like yeah, I you worked let, hard you gotta let to your brothers so no, yeah, and then I yeah. ruined it. Dude, and we were and it's not you didn't like you didn't like beat me into the point you were like nah, you seeing I just red, wanted you, you just to feel fucked bad. me up. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, look what you I, did to my fucking. I didn't get it as bucks. a kid, but I get it now. Yeah. My thing was is it, once I once I started doing better in life, it's like I'll never let you guys like have a, like a whack pair of shoes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He got you know, so you, you guys represent me. He got so yeah. mad. I yeah, did don't this fucking make me look. Bad. I yeah, did this don't on make purpose me one day. Just I did this on purpose up, one day. Bro. I was at uh, I was at Burlington Co Factory. I'm go, yo, I'm gonna buy these terrible shoes yeah. that are like running shoes for like twenty dollars. And uh, I was on mom and dad's couch with my my legs crossed like this, and I said. I said, uh, I said, you copping or, or not, you shopping or not copping? <laughs> so like Danny and Danny goes, yo, bro, please take those off. I'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> if you take yeah, those please. off, please. he was so mad no, about because it. My thing is, is when you're, when you're little, when you're the little brother, it's more of like, you guys should give me everything. Yeah. yeah. But then when you get older, it's like. No. You understand, like, yeah, you just want to make people, you people that you like love. I just love, I just love making people Smile. happy. Yeah. I love making yeah. people happy, and not to the point where it's like I'm not good. You know, I'm, I'm smart about it. I'm smarter about it for sure. Running up on me, but that's but why yeah, Danny, is, Danny is hands down more generous with fashion and style and, and clothes and sneakers and things like that. Who, um, like, I've left Danny's house with like a fucking truckload of shit. Yeah, shit. Yeah. And he, because he's just trying to like dump shit out too, because he's have so much success. I did when you showed me your sneaker collection in, in the. I forgot where you were living at the time. We had that little patio that the dogs would go out yeah, and yeah, chill yeah. out. And I, I, Danny opened his closet, and I swear to God, it was literally just a closet of sneakers. And I was like, "Bro, all heat, dude. all all gas, like all dope pairs, but like, but like repeat sneakers too." So he'd have extra pairs, and he'd be like, "Yo, this is like eight and a half. This shit doesn't fit me. You want to take these?" And I would leave Danny's house and have to get like a separate Uber for the shit. I was yeah, yeah, with. they were doing. <laughs> yeah, like, and, I've, and I've, then I would kick it back to you too. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'd I be gave like, this Jared, shit ain't gonna fit me. Give that shit to Mike. I yeah. think I, I gave, I've given Jared like resale. I probably like one time like two thousand dollars worth of sneakers easily, like easily. like Yeezys, like yeah. wave runners and, and, shit. and you yeah, and you the know they last runners, with me yeah. too. Like I don't dog my shit out. I'm the motherfucker nah. cleaning my shit. Like, That's more than that. You guys, I, I, I definitely I taught you guys it, how to do that. Yeah, how to clean I'm only gonna clean. And keep yeah, I still crisp. have how to kit. keep your how kit. to keep your Air Force Ones from creasing and yeah. all that. Yeah. That was always me. I was like, bro, you want these sneakers to last? Yeah, you gotta get. You were very crispy with your shoes. You gotta get three of them oxy clean, and now it's the magic erasers. That shit will clean. I wanted all the shit Jared had back in the day. Jared had Nietzsche. He had fucking Givenchy. Even more, no more than more than Nietzsche. Of, you had like Mama get us Nietzsche. You, you had wore like a lot of Puma, Paco jeans, yeah. 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 fucking Jordans, yeah. um, ACG boots and shit. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. Who um who has who has the weirdest habits? Uh, me probably. I feel like we don't really yeah. know. I was gonna say I was gonna say Mike. Michael. Yeah, Mike, me. Mike has the weirdest habits in terms of like OCD. How, how, yeah, like it's how it looks. This shit. Like how it looks to the rest of the earth. Yeah, to the world. Yeah. But like I have some like, <laughs> I have some like weird habits like in terms. He's of, more finicky. 
Yeah. He's very yeah. finicky this and like and the yeah. Well well just like the way he does it. I don't like that there. Don't put that there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is this no, is, move that over. You like yeah. you touch this and Danny will come back and be like, Yeah. This is like a, slide it back to where it was. Yeah, like, like if it, something doesn't sound the right way, I'm like, all right, like uh let's yeah. do this again, let's do that again. I, I I'm more of uh a perfectionist when it comes to like cre- like creative stuff, but I tried not to be because I feel like that's like annoying. Like right. that, that's an annoying right. personality. Right. Yeah, but to part have. of be, but part of being creative for you is your livelihood too. So it yeah. has to be spot on. You yeah, gotta, but you're I'm not gonna, like anal about it. No. Gonna, okay, yeah. this one, this one, I want to show our brotherly connections for this. Okay, go. Okay, sorry, I don't mean to seem like I'm rushing them. I want to get them out. No, and then no, we no, no, no. Go ahead, dude. I'm, I'm um, no, but I would say that you're you have weird habits. habits. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, all right, we're not gonna say who yet. Okay. I'm gonna ask the question, mm-hmm. and then on the count of three, we're all gonna point to the person. Even if it's you, you point to yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna ask the question first, and then I'll then count wait, to three. And then wait to yeah, three, yeah. and then we're gonna point. At yeah. The person After I'm done counting, we'll point to them. All right, yeah. All right. I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna close my eyes too. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Danny will close his eyes for this one. All right. <laughs> Who sings in the shower? One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah definitely. What was definitely. this? There was a song that you used to sing all the time in the shower. It's how I knew who was in the shower. Uh, I think it was Luther Vandross. What? Which, what which, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Danny to me. used to sing his ass off in the shower. Yeah, all was, uh, every, not even just yeah. everywhere. 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 And up the stairs. No, oh, hit him, Danny. Hit him, Danny. Hit him, Daddy. I used to sing that shit. I used to sing that shit like a what, motherfucker what song in the shower. I used to sing that. I used to sing a lot of like Christian music in the shower too, but I used to sing um, uh, this one Jamie Foxx shit. It was like Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? I used to sing that shit all the time. Yeah, and then I used to sing. Uh, there was a I can't remember the song I used to sing in there all the time. Mom used to used to come in there. She'd be like, "You should take lessons." You got on your Doobie Brothers shit a lot too in the shower. Yeah, Doobie Brothers yeah. a lot in the shower. Um, What's his name? McDonald. Keep us together. <laughs> I used to do a lot of that. I used to do a lot of that shit. Yeah. It, it, it mostly was uh, I would I would I like go through pockets. Like I, I remember I just sang like John Legend's like first album yeah. for like three months. This is this is I can't. It's gonna come to me like when I'm back um, when I'm on the plane on my way back to fucking Miami. And I'm like that's the song. I'll text so you much heat. Yeah, might have been R. Kelly. It, it might have been Kells. Yeah. My um, all right, I have a question. Yeah, it's for, probably "I Wish" by R. Kelly. I used yeah. to sing that one a lot. I have a question for Jared because me and Danny would both fit fit uh, the same answer. Okay. okay, what is me and Danny's favorite video game of all time? Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah. he knows. Yeah. He knows. Snake, Snake. Snake. Yeah. That's, that's that game one. was amazing. So good for its time, oh, wasn't man. it? And it's aged so fucking yeah. well. I think Metal they're, Gear they're remaking it. Yours, yours for a while before that, though, was Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy you were on, You were on a Annie real Vett, Final Annie Fantasy Vett was rip. the master of gifts yeah. on Christmas. Annie Absolutely Vett bought dope. me my and first pair of Jordans. Dude, See? she just uh, shit. Are like, these sixes the ones that have the holes in the yes, tongue? Yes. Yeah. Are those sixes? Yeah. Yeah. She bought me. And those I love mom and dad, and I get it. They had five movies. kids. Yeah. They had to pay for way other yeah. shit. But so Annie like they was always kind could. of balling too. Like she didn't have any kids. And no, she, had she like, was single. She had like a dope ass job. Or I had think a she boyfriend. was in advertising or something. And yeah, Annie she used lived to at trick home. off. She was chilling. Yeah. Uncle Joe used to trick off and like <clears throat> and, and, and break down. Was Uncle Joe good? Uncle Joe was pretty good. Yeah, Uncle Joe good. Yeah, Uncle Joe used to go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and then I think we could we could do one more. So yeah, okay. get off. No, this. Keep, no, keep going. All right, let's yeah. do it. This right. is what people um, want to hear. I know. Uh, uh, want. Uh, all right, going. let's get let's get let's get juicy with it. Who's the most intelligent? Um, not me. <coughs> I don't think I am either. I would most say I think I think we're intelligent in different ways. Jared's got more experience with certain things. I think Jared is You're, the most book smart. I think if, if if we were to be given a test right now, if we were on Jeopardy. Yeah, I feel like I'm. I feel like I might. You would win. I'm, I feel like I would. I would. I would carry the team. Yeah. If we were on Wheel of Fortune, honestly, the most intelligent out of all of us is Dad. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. The, our Dad the is so smart. The plethora of it's random like, knowledge. So it's, it's so whoever spent has. most time with Dad. It was yeah. probably Jared. So yeah. I have to say, Jared. He's like a savant too. You're like dude, remembers everything, dude. He'd be in the kitchen like fixing something like under the fucking sink, and Jeopardy would be playing. Like in the like two rooms away, yeah. And he would he'd be like, "Who was Henry the Eighth?" 
and 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 like literally fucking is like who was Henry VIII? And I'm like, dude, and would go on yeah. and on yeah, and on. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, to the, the f- point where it's like and almost I, kind of scary. Yeah, right? and I'm like, bro, yeah, how do you weird. remember this shit? He goes, honestly, I don't even remember where I. It was like Slumdog. It's like, how do you remember? And he would have these stories of how he acquired. He like, read the, a lot. Dad he read, read a, lot. a lot. He studied. He 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 was just like he yeah. watched a fucking. Dad's probably watched more Dad's TV than any other human being I've ever met in my life. Um. So so well, I, I would say, say I would my vote would be if if they handed us a scholastic test right now I would say Jared would probably do the best. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that. I yeah. Um, I, I don't know. But if it was Wheel of Fortune, I'm smoking everybody. Dude, you are great at Wheel of Fortune. I remember one time we were watching Wheel of Fortune, and I swear to God, it was like a, it was like a thing. Right was the subject, and the fucking one letter goes up. It's like boom. It's like yo, can I get a fucking N? And this is like, is there any Ns? And Vanna gets out there and she's Danny's like, no place like home. Yo, Danny goes <laughs> lemon meringue pie and fucking nailed dude. it. Yeah, right. I, I used to be. Yeah, I'm really one good. letter. It was, he, it was. It was. That's what it was. It was lemon meringue pie. And I remember looking at him and be like, is yo, this a rerun? Genius. How the fuck did yeah, he know that? Yeah, no, it was nice. I used to be nice dude, and shit. Yeah. Danny was definitely good at, at who Wheel is, of Fortune. Who is the most immature? Me. Yeah, I would agree with that. You I would know say what, Danny you know what's funny? Bit. You know what's funny? I might say me. You think so? Yeah, because I've done a lot of immature shit in my life, and I've been a repeat offender of those things. And mm. I would say that you guys were more mature as I mean, you it stayed sounds so a, creepy. Than you, and you guys stayed away from those things. But you did have me as an example. Like, I ain't going to do it like this fucking clown. No, dude. we you got know? everything we got. I always wanted who's to be, mo- I always wanted to be like immature, you. When, who's the most immature? I literally wanted to be you when I was younger. I was yeah. like, I want to be that goofy and that fun. Because yeah. you seemed yeah, like Jared you took inspiration to be funny. Yeah, because you are still and were always funny and always carried like a group of people yeah. with that entertainment. So it's yeah. like... I was like, who's he getting this from? And then I would watch you watching Martin. And then I was like, I'm going to watch you know Martin. What's crazy like, that's though? where all like, my physical shit came But again, from. I guess because Danny's baby brother, like you would always kind of be like, well, they're the least mature because they're the youngest. Yeah. But I wouldn't say it was because of his behavior. I would have to call that on me. Because, but I really kind of aim that just at like relationships, really. Right. Otherwise, yeah. like in the rest of my life, I'm not immature at all. You know what I mean? It's like, no, I would say, I would say even till now, shit. even till now, I'm probably the most immature. Yeah. But like, you could, but you could own that tag. Like I said, you're the, you're the, your baby boy out of the three yeah you know what i mean so you're gonna be the least mature in certain ways you know yeah. what I mean? all right um nicknames that we've all had for each other growing up uh, oh i could I've, i mean we'll, we'll start you guys throw some at me and then we'll throw some at danny and then throw some at jared i mean guange what else guange caesar caesar that was my favorite one of my favorite ones I, you're, dude, you're saved in my you're saved in, yeah you're caesar, caesar you're saved Leo. in my phone is caesar yeah caesar Leo. yeah because you're born on march 15th and yep. that was the ides of march and you used to rock a caesar cut yep yeah. Mike Lops. Mike yeah. Lops, yeah. Uh, um, Dooney. Oh, yeah, for Danny's Dooney. Dooney, yeah. Uh, uh, D- Dooney, D- D-Nice. D-Nice. D-Nice, yeah. D-Nice. Um, um, Stax. Stax. Stax, yeah. Stax yeah. is a good one. Stax. Jared is Jared's Jarhead. Jarhead, yeah. Um, Jotty. Jotty. Jotty, Jotty. Jotty, Jotty. Jotty, Jared. J. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't really have a lot. Uncle Joe was the king of nicknames. Jarhead. Yeah, he was so good at dry, Jarhead. Yeah, those. Jarhead was the big one. Jarhead, Jarhead was, was the really, big. really, yeah, it wasn't yeah. really. I used yeah. to get mad about it when I was a kid. Yeah. Um. All right. Kathy still calls me Jarhead. Yeah. Right. Okay, we'll, we'll end I it. I kind of do kind of have a Jarhead. This is actually... Um, um, this is actually a good one. This is not really a question. This is just to end it off. Yeah. Okay, so favorite moment, favorite memory with... Uh, one another all together yes all three oh where we were all together yeah mm-hmm. memories that you guys have of all three that was uh your one of your favorite moments uh one or of memories. my one of I'll my let you guys favorite. go first i have to i have to i have to kind of run down the archives for this one yeah, yeah i have a couple but one, a one, that, one that comes to mind is i remember after christmas Jared took Michael and I to this place called Dragon's Den. Oh, on Cross oh, County. Yeah. On Cross County. Yeah. And so like we would get all our Christmas money and video like, games and yeah. so and then like our parents would never want to take us like the day after Christmas to get yeah. video games. Dragon's Den was the shit. So Jared was like, Yeah, I'll take you guys day after Christmas in the morning. We'll go to Dragon's Den. <laughs> and so he used to take us to get uh, our video games the day after Christmas, the right. ones whatever we didn't get and we got money for it for Christmas. That was one of them. Uh, when Elizabeth was born, yeah, that was a, a good that's one. That's another yeah. one. Yeah, 
that's another really big like vivid one I have from my childhood. Yeah, they tried to stop me. Yeah, I remember from, from that. going in the room. Yeah, I looked you at the nurse. I looked at like, the nurse and I was that's like, my "Bitch, niece, dude." Yeah, you were like, I, you, I don't know how old, how old were you when Biz Eight. was born. Yeah, you're like, you're like Yo. you can't go in there. I was like, like, fuck you, yeah, like, fuck you. I'm that baby's uncle. I'm fucking going in. Yeah, there. I was like, I'm and going she was in. Like, there. all right, bro. I was like, fuck <laughs> you. And they let me in. Way. Yeah, yeah, they did. And At then that I, point, they had to. Because I remember Jared came down to uh, to the. He was in like the full garb, and uh, we went to like the lunch room or whatever. It was St. John's. Yeah, I think right. it might have been. Yeah, yeah. so we're Where? like we're, Biz. Yeah, Biz was born at Columbia Presbyterian, Columbia Presbyterian in the Bronx. In the yeah. Bronx, yeah. so we're all in there. Jared comes down. He's got the scrubs on and everything. Yeah, and we're in the pavilion or whatever. And and uh, he was seventeen, like, right? Yeah, 16, he was like, yo, he was, was like sixteen. I turned he was like, yo, can seventeen. You open the next this month. Snapple for me. Yeah, and I was like, yes. So I opened it for him. But he didn't realize that I opened it, and he went to shake it, yeah. and, it and he flew all over the place. Poured it, poured it all <laughs> oh, over the place. Shit. I was like, "Yo, I opened it like for you." Christened I thought it. you were gonna say yeah. he fucking flinged the thing at your dick again. <laughs> no, no, no. And that's why I struck back um, later on. Another one. Uh, if you guys have yours, you can come in. I mean, I have like a ton. Um, of I would I say, I would say, my favorite was either playing uh, the dark game with Jared dark when we were all great. together. I used, to, I used to love that when Jared used to do dark game for us, or when um, the pool would close and mom and dad would leave and Jared would let us stay, and it was like you and me and Spring and, and me and Danny just trying to touch every girl's tits. Oh yeah, that yeah, was there because yeah, we yeah. were just. But they loved us. They loved me and Danny because Jared would be like, nah, he's my little bros. Yeah. There, there was some like 18 year old girl that would kiss me on the lips every day there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. And I was like, oh, all right. We were just little. It might have been. Yeah, it was like one of the one of the like uh, concessions. Yeah. Girls. Yeah. A green shirt. They were like it's super cute. Shirt. I remember. Yeah. She was mad cute. And Jared, was like, oh, just used, man. Jared just used to like, Spring Jared just used to like Mac for us a little yeah. bit and be like, yo, I was like, damn. I was like, yo, like she's kissed me on the lips. It's kind of fire, dude. Yeah. Um, I remember I some some of my favorite ones were like when I would get cars, when I would get new cars, and I would come and put you guys in the cars with me. Yeah, and we would just cruise around Yonkers like yeah, it's dark and hell's hot, blasting bust, hip hop, busting whatever yeah, album, blasting incredibly, loud. incredibly like heavy expletive yeah. fucking music. Yeah, I, it was I the would best. say. Oh, you know what also was fun? I remember as when when I when we used to when I used to have like. Those like battle royales with you guys. Yeah, make would, us fight each other. And yeah, we would fight, and make we us would fight wrestle, each other. We would wrestle like on the bed and shit like that. Like those memories were my fondest. I think as kids, you know, like where I, you know, you're annoyed by your little brothers, but you're also having a lot of fun with them. Right. And uh, yeah, like those those days. Remember when we lived at Cross Hill? There was that park. There was that open field across the street. Yeah, we threw a boomerang around. We would throw the boomerang, like taking you guys Ooh. over there and doing all of that shit. Like that shit was fun for me because I did like bringing you guys out with me because girls loved you. You guys were both two cute little fuckers. Um, but it was, but it always made me feel like you know like super big brother because at that point at sixteen. I was what you were nine, nine, yeah. right, and that which means you were seven. Yeah, so, so you yeah. guys were like babies, and at sixteen, I was already living like grown man shit. Yeah, you were. I remember so thinking we like he was doing. He's. I was like, damn, he's doing so much yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah, I was like, this is fucking. Like, like whenever when we, you were when we home, she glutch in them. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, the what up, yeah, what up? What up? Can bring, I live? But it did was, I bring it was, both of you guys to see to see Wallace? On the on, on, no, on was, Lawrence, that was, was just you. We went. I went to the we went studio. to the studio with yeah, yeah, Jared yeah. in the yeah. face. You yeah. took me Jared once. Was, and Will was yeah, he was dead. You took me he once, but like Wallace was uh, passed away at the time. And then yeah. another one uh, was Jared's twenty first birthday at the Legion at the American Legion. Woo. Oh yeah, uh, where Dad did the keg stand. Yeah, where Dad, Dad did, did a fucking keg stand. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was tight. That was a really good. That was the first American Legion party ever. I had a T-shirt with my ID on. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to clubs, like pulling up my shirt. God, that's so fucking funny. All right, cool. I'll take it. That was that was a great one. Mike, you have any? Yeah. What do you got? Yeah, I did. I did those other two, but. um uh, I would say another great one of us all together was in Jersey. Jersey was my was my most favorite because we would go swimming in the beach and yeah. Jared taught us Jared taught us how to dive underneath the waves right before they come and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't get fucked up. A lot of good memories. And like I remember I still every time I do that, I'm like, oh, Jared taught me how to like dive underneath the uh, wave, like hey, go to the <laughs> bottom of the wave as it's coming so yeah. you don't get the, uh, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. fucking the, the tip it. of it, which yeah. is gonna fuck you. Yeah. No, Jared got me my lifeguard license. That's right. A couple times. Yeah, that's right. A couple right. times. Yeah. 
I was. Uh, but those, yeah, those memories. How I became such a good swimmer, uh, dude. I have so much trouble remembering some of these things, but there are some moments where it, it because it takes like, a minute. You gotta like, yeah, fuck probably you gotta like, like you guys came. It's like, like eternal sunshine games. of the spotless mind. You gotta like find it. You gotta oh, like watching, go in there yeah, and find it. Yeah, watching Danny play football was fucking ultimate. Yeah, that highlight. was great because because he was, was so surprised. He was. It was just surprising to me because I didn't know he was. We, I didn't know well, he was so good. I was, was busy so getting good. high and like not going to games. I'm telling you, I, I went to like one or two, but then I remember he did some crazy shit at a game I was at, and then he showed me video one night because Danny was like, "Yo, you want to like see some of the shit I done?" And I was like, "Yeah, Uncle Rico, do like, you? Unreal yeah. shit. You want to see a video I made? Yeah, yeah see I, re a video I remember. I, I remember like a few games where I would go. I think you were wearing number seven at the time. Yeah, you were seven and you were 25, right? Yeah, seven, 25, 34, anything that added up to seven, I wore. It. Got you. Yeah, so you were seven, and I had a yellow T-shirt with the seven and it said Low Priori on the back. I remember yeah. that. And uh, and Danny just like busted loose and you were running towards the your, your end zone was towards what's the street that runs behind Reynolds uh, that 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 street that leads you to the pool Calumet like, it, no, that, no is it Calumet I guess it's part of it but yeah. it's like that dirty chained road where you oh walk yeah, yeah 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 and, yeah and scary had, street scary, scary street. street scary street and you were running your end zone was that way uh and I was on the track and Danny busted loose. And, well, I was on the bleachers, and I was, and I'm, and you know, from from certain bird's eye view, you watch the hole open, and you're like, oh shit, if he hits this hole, dude, yeah, he's good, he's fucking going. And he got through it, and I remember just in stride with you i'm just running down the side of the fucking field on the track and i'm like go 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 and we literally like danny got a lead on me after a while it was faster than me but he got into the end zone but that moment like i was so like fucking impressed by time. yeah it was fucking good yeah, time you were so good it was just yeah, like i didn't i was like damn good. i didn't know he was, he was like very, that. Yeah. i was like this kid might actually like go to probably gonna go to like college and yeah, do this just shit put, putting moves on motherfuckers he yeah. wasn't he wasn't just like brute strength he nah. was just like he was a stylistic runner he was yeah. just getting busy. and it was like everyone else it, talking little, about it too that little barry really, sanders it set in more when everyone else was talking about it. like yo have you seen your brother and i was like not nah. like yo yeah. danny's nasty yeah i was like what the fuck <laughs> like yeah. nobody yeah and then the whole team I, being like dude, dude. like you were like a secret weapon almost yeah yeah that, not they, a secret they, weapon they, but you were like a weapon for yeah they didn't want to all way more of us whatever yeah, um, but when you life. did, you put in work. I, I got my, my life. I, I touched more blunts than I did balls back then. That's why. Um, <laughs> what's, what's another one? Uh, another one that's kind of funny uh, was uh, when probably when Dad choked Jared that time. Because Which it was because it, it was times. hilarious. That was yeah. Dad's go-to yeah. move. Like for Mike, you, Michael, he didn't really he didn't really choke. He choked the shit out of you because so, you were older. He choked me once. Yeah. I don't think I ever got a choke. He, he, choked, he, he slammed our heads together and stuff. Yeah, once. yeah, yeah he, that was hilarious. He fucking Hulk Hogan does. Yeah, that. that was funny. The coconut. We yes. drove. We we put that. We that That's poor so man, good. bro. We brought him to the edge so many times. Oh, so many times. Yeah, he'll be all right. It's just outnumbered. He's just three little yeah, just fucking three little monkeys. bastards, just fucking yeah, tearing just your doing house, doing wild, shit. terrible things, breaking shit, sneaking out, making all. Were types you there? Of fucking Were you there rockets. when Chooch was born, Mike? It's uh, Sarah I Lawrence. I don't remember. Yeah, I really don't. And, and Neuro. I don't. I think Neuro. I was really I was high most there. of that time, honestly. Yeah. Um, Kiana's wedding was fun. Yes. Oh, uh, Keanu's wedding was the, one of the Dude. best times you of my life. You guys got drunk, right? Oh, I got yeah. fucking hammered. Dan yeah. That's how I found hammered. out about gin and tonics. I scored, I scored three touchdowns in the first half, and yeah. then and Dad made the, me leave. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, I'm sh what the fuck? And then, and then Danny and Daniel were just going around as like this couple, just like just, just fucking being hilarious. Dude. Drunk. I have to see the way. My girlfriend yeah, was yeah. there at the time. I was hammered, Keanu's though. Keanu's got to have that footage. And then, oh, and I caught the I caught the fucking. The garter belt? Yeah, and I put it on some hot chick that I don't remember who that was. And I, I did like a, I was like going like this on her, it's <laughs> like thrusting and shit, <laughs> and everyone was, was laughing, fucking freaking on her. Yeah, but then I remember doing that. That it was so, and then every, and then watching the video, Danny and Daniel are hilarious. Like in their, like they're both oh, hammered, 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 hammered. And then Uncle Dom drove us home, fucking bumping like big pun. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to do that all the time, dude. All and playing time. Carlos Santana, love Carlos the Santana. Santana album with the. Uh, I used Carlos to like going to the to the. I remember not vividly, but I remember going. Going to him with the uh, the block parties that they used to throw down at Dante's Deli on Neprahan, and we were oh, all yeah. there as kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like one of the most Stink iconic bombs. pictures of, of you is as a kid with like the Nike flip up hat. That's at one of those. Uh, oh, is that at one of those? Yeah, that's at one. Yeah, of Yeah, that's block a parties. fucking awesome. Yeah. Picture. They used to have those candy cigarettes that like if you blew into yeah, them, and like yeah, yeah. Would come out. yeah. And like, fart, the fart Def bombs definitely can't sell that now. Fart oh, those, bombs. They, they were like a timer. Yeah, you could just squeeze them and then you throw them and you wait for them to fucking blow up someone's face. It was basically baking soda and like vinegar and a little fucking yeah. They were little. They were little shit grenades. Yeah. 
grenades. And Those some of them would take a while. They would, they were like duds almost. You would think, that's and you get so close, funny. and it just blows up in your face. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. yeah. It didn't go off, and then it would blow off. Yeah. Those were a big thing for a while. Yeah, dude. I almost want to look those up and see. Uh, like, what were, what were they called? Ever, those stink bombs. Yeah. Do you ever see that guy Mark Rober that makes those like, uh, like those packages that get stolen? But he puts like oh, yeah, cameras like, in them. There's like shit bombs and like glitter, glitter bombs. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. keep the trains, you filthy animal. Yeah, that yeah. dude was so yeah. tired. That dude was so tired of getting his fucking shit stolen off the porch. Yep, that's them. Bomb bags. The bomb bags, bags dude. Bomb, bomb bags. bags. Bomb bags. And bomb it had and it had dope. like there was those and then the fart one, the stinky ones. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, oh, bomb wait. Bomb bags. No, bomb bags smelled, bro. There it is. The fart the fart bags. Yeah, we gotta oh, buy those, shit. dude. We gotta buy. I'm gonna buy fart. I think they're still they still sell them. They're called for anyone else that's watching fart bags. Yeah, the stink. Fart remember bags. the stink fart bags. The stink bombs were the the little glass vials that you would break and they smelled yes. just basically yes. like rotten. Oh ice. yeah, those were terrible. So we used what to throw them in the in the ice cream. Man's well, what truck. you're doing is it has that little pouch inside, and it was like the baking soda. And when you ruptured it, it would vinegar, react with yeah. the other shit, and then it would just blow up. Blow dude, up genius. Yeah. And this yeah, is like some shit awesome. that's like this was a '90s thing, I would yeah. imagine, right? Mostly. Yeah. 80s 90s fuck yeah what are you what are you doing for the holidays me i'll probably be working i'm going back to work we'll do some just sorry ass service there um and then holidays meaning like christmas and, and new year's i'll probably be at work for both and then after party wherever it is that uh that my lady's like hey this is where we should go all right i'll just leave it up to her she decides Okay. That's she'll good. be she'll be at work too and she works late hours, so you know, I'll probably end up at, at like her spot. Shit, I heard that. What are you guys doing? Uh I'm going to a cabin upstate yeah, with you are. Selena's family. I guess it's my family now too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, my, my get used to saying that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I might go to mom and dad's. Oh yeah? Yeah. I have sure. to go get fitted for my wedding band soon. Who? Wedding band, yeah. damn! It's happening! Nice. It's so, happening! Nice. It's happening! It's happening! Dude, I've been Throwing looking up, it try, all trying away. to, just, just trying to book kidding. flights, <laughs> trying to book flights for all of that. So you know, planning like what other part of Europe I'll visit. A good, a, a, that's a, the a best good, part. Good buddy of mine plays for uh, Inter Milan, and he's just like, bro, come and fucking hang out with us in Milan, bro. Like, and just make it happen. I was like, for sure. Yeah, dude. What? Yeah, These I've guys never, are fucking legendary. Over yeah, there. he's cool as shit. Like, super laid back, dude. So Messi's coming to Miami. That's the word. That's the word. A lot of shit's happening in Miami. F one is ten years to that play. Contract. Yes. Yeah, he's gonna play yeah, uh, at uh, at a, a, a Inter Miami. Mi Inter Miami. But they uh, play in Fort Lauderdale. That's gonna. That's yeah. a ring, that's a ringer situation. Yeah. He's it's, gonna fucking smoke. F one is there for another ten years. Like the shit is gonna be chaos. Crazy. Miami's just gonna keep. Yeah. Who else crazy. is a nasty football player, soccer player? That's like. Well, that, da David Beckham came over years ago. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he part, did. But he's part owner of Inter. Miami. Now. Yeah, now he is. Yeah. yeah, he's a sweetheart, nicest fucking guy in the world. Yeah, that's that's nice to hear. Very very nice. Dude. He seems cool. Yeah, super chill. His kids are really. You sweet. ever have like Ronaldo in there? No, no, I haven't. And I know he's a dude that is often in Miami. Yeah, um, I would have thought. No, I don't get a lot of footballers in there. Um, and if you do, it's like again, I don't watch enough soccer to even know no, who the fuck who that the is. Fuck is who. Like, nah, I'm the same way. I, I know a bunch of people that I met through work that I ended up being like, "Oh, you? What do you? What do you do?" They're like, "Oh, I play soccer," and I'm like, and all my Italian kids and all the Haitians, they're going nuts. I'm like, I have no fucking clue. What it's no, doing they this. love that yeah, shit. I'm American, bro. I they go really so hard. Soccer. Um, I think we can wrap this one up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two hours. Two hours. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Let's uh, let's get into this miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. It was a lot of fun. Always a pleasure having Jared on the show. Thanks it's for It's always a pleasure to be here. Dude, this, it's I fun. Hope I, I hope I never disappoint. No. No, never. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I often feel like I'm out of my league with you guys because you guys have just gradually gotten funnier and funnier and funnier and so naturally good at what you do here where I'm just like, I hope I don't well, ruin it. All I hope I don't ruin episode four. Even if that was the case, you're the cornerstone. Yeah, you're the cornerstone. Does that make sense? Does. Let's get in Lot Nation the CEOs and CFOs. Yeah. Allison Meta, DJ Kento, okay. Lynn Spees, Big Mo, Nicole Derelou, Ryan Blake, The Real Pachu, Puerto Rican Pikachu, Turbo Chubs, Ali, Big Booty Diggs, Camro Boats, Carmen Julia Fisher, Louis Dreyfus Jackson, Corbin, Damn That's Dub, John Kaminskis, Joseph Arsenault, Linda from Accounting, Max the Walrus, uh, Meg Bellis, welcome back, Meg, Natasha Vega, Neely Thomas, P-A-T-N, Radar Taylor, Ricardo Reyes, and Tip Base. Uh, just making an announcement uh, on Patreon. I will be releasing my set 
from Caroline's. So oh, dude, it's please. A com- comedy special. Super congratulations on that. I'm so proud of you, bro. Thanks, like, dog. Everybody, everybody that talks about going to it, it's just, I mean, it's impressive work, man. I'm proud of you. Thank you, brother. More to come. A lot of time. You got to come do some time in the next show. Yes, sir. Do, do five minutes. On the count of three. Bros. Bros. One, two, three. Bros. Bros. Peace, guys. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself.